Hey, we're live on YouTube. You want to say hi? Hi. Go back to that second one. Hi. But he's looking at all lining. Hi. Is it live? Mm -hmm. Is it working? Yeah. How many people are on? Zilch. What are you talking about, buddy? Birthday. Birthday. You say pipe cleaner? Pipe cleaner? Pipe cleaner? <laughs> pipe. 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 Thank you. I'm basically just wondering if we're going to buffer too bad to go live from home. That's kind of what I'm wondering. Oh, whoever went live here? No. I've liked Jolly Bait Company's posts like three times. I know. I don't know why it's not sticking. Mine does it too sometimes. Hey, Mr. Rod. Um. Dylan, Dylan. Trying to see if we have good enough internet here at the house to live stream. I don't know if we not if we do or not. So. If you can let us know if it's buffering all over the place or whatever, I'd appreciate it. What's up, Cole? Man, I appreciate you dropping in. We're gonna mess around with some hair jigs and just testing the internet tonight. So. Coming in loud and clear in Illinois. Good deal. Who's that? That's Rod's Fishing Adventures. Oh, okay. I haven't got a chance to get over and watch your new uh, video yet today, Rod, or that you released yesterday. But I know you probably caught a bunch of crappie. We've been chasing trout um, recently on little colorful stuff like this. We've got Dylan. Okay. Dylan's up here on the table. Sophie's hanging out with us, so we're all here. We're I just, mean, I live here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're home. So Sophie's Hi. over here. Dylan's drinking tea. But anyway, he ain't got no clothes on. Well, I mean, this He's is, in a diaper. he lives here too. <laughs> Chilling at the house, so. This is how we... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know how to make the, oh, there you go. What? Caught 10. Ten's more than we've ever caught, so. A crappie? Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. I got this one made up a few minutes ago. A guy had asked me to try to. Looks like one big baby. Try to hit more of a crawfish color for him. He wanted it for no, Crete, for like a little smallmouth. It was kind of a sparkle body, and then. I put a little red feather with some, got these massive feathers. They're insane. But they make perfect tails for these things, so. I've got a whole pack of them. My father-in-law got for me, so. He got me this whole rig for Christmas. I've been enjoying it. The one you made? I got him this box, too. Yeah. Yeah, I've got fly tying stuff. Oh, yeah, you're tying jigs right now. That's yeah. Right. I'll just talk about the box, the boxes. Hey, what's your bed? I hope everybody had a good Christmas and everything. His um, fly and jig stuff has gotten out of hand. It's everywhere, all over my table. <laughs> That's okay, though. 
Where's that little box of the other, the, the handmade stuff? Do you know? It's all in here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I was going to show them the one that I made. So, kind of hard to get to. Yeah. Uh-uh. Put that up, please. Put it up, please. Thank you. Got a drone and test flew it today and successfully Daddy. didn't Daddy. land it out Daddy in the woods. Beetle. So that was a victory. Now I'm a beetle. You, you want to be in the video? Well, now I'm a beetle. Okay, come here. No, I'm drinking tea. <laughs> He's drinking tea. Okay. If y'all got any colors or anything you want to see me try, Pretzel? definitely not a professional, you but you we'll uh, give her a shot. Okay, hey, Carl. Thanks for dropping in, sir. I appreciate it. Wee. Sophie and Dylan are both here. He's Dylan. throwing my fly tying stuff around. Okay, I'm no, he's not. I don't know what he just threw past me. I'm pot cleaner. Okay. He wants to play Play-Doh. Yeah, he's drinking tea. Mama's got a big mason jar of tea here, and he's pounding it Saturday night. About an orange body on this one, maybe. See what it looks like. Dylan's getting some blue Play-Doh. He loves Play-Doh. He got a lot of Play-Doh for Christmas. He's got all, wow. all of it now. What yeah, he does. That? Wait, what's that? What's that? Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah, he is wired tonight. Oink, Peppa Pig. So Mama, what are you making? Peppa. I don't know, just Mama, anything. I asked if anybody's got a color if they want to see anything. Pickle. The chat goes away. It's kind of hard to keep it refreshing. Oh. You want me to do that? If you want to. I'm not on your level. I'm not sitting on a stool, so. <laughs> I'm like a foot taller than you right now, which is weird. Because... Never in a world where I'm taller. What are you trying to show, buddy? You want to show them? What are you showing? What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the baby? I saw it. Look, he's got a whole grill over there. Yeah, it's Play-Doh, though. It's for Play-Doh. Yeah, grilling his Play-Doh. Do you see baby? <laughs> what are you doing, Bubba? Baby doing. Baby doing? I don't know. He's just helping. Cool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> funny. Baby's funny. They should, Stinger. They'll, they'll definitely know now that this dude can talk. Yeah, Mr. Earl, thank you for dropping in. Oh, here's this. Dude. Rod said good luck with white and chartreuse. Oh, like Let's see if What's we this? can uh, make something that's white and chartreuse. Rainbow. You want the body white with a yellow tail? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Dylan's an awesome helper. I usually put like five. Refrober said hey. Five whip finishes on them. Okay. Seems to hold it. Who said they wanted to see one? Oh, I see it. White and chartreuse. Okay. Pretty neat little. Orange body, yellow tail. Okay, ready? Yeah. Might work in murky water. We're just playing around with it. 
I want pink. It's a one thirty second jig heads. What this one has. to get to my jig heads here. No, look. Look, you see? Mom can hold it. See? Whoa, jig heads! Jig heads. Did you see that? I think a white head or a chartreuse head there, Mr. Rod. They're both 30 second. Do you like that you can see your head? Yes, I right. okay. Good luck with white and chartreuse. We'll do both of them here. Chartreuse head to start with. White body and chartreuse tail then. He said chartreuse. Chartreuse. What, what was the first question you asked? Just the head color. Okay, chartreuse. We have that one and we have this one too. Yeah. This one's really That heavy. one's huge. Look at that. I don't, the size difference compared to that 30 second jig head is insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's big, but they, they work great because you can get a bunch of, a uh, bunch of jigs out of one feather. All right, so let's see. I got stuff laying around. bank fishing adventure hey buddy thank you for stopping in we're just hanging out mainly just testing our internet tonight um we've never live streamed Hot, from home right here we haven't so we tried one time at, on the boat and it overheated and then we tried again and uh didn't really work out so you had a you had a different phone at that time though yeah you got a better phone now Easier to control your deal. What's up there, Mr. Jolly Bait Company? Hey. We're just hanging out. Mainly <laughs> testing our internet. Bank fisher. Bank fishing adventures. Chilling. Chilling Indiana. What is that? That's Mr. Carl. I've learned with that tag end, if you keep it pulled up at an angle, Ooh, it pushes your wraps down tight. see our Christmas tree. I've, oh, yeah. It's bare now. We're about to take it down. <laughs> I was like, what is that dark thing in the corner? It was our Christmas tree. Ooh, this smells good. Do you smell it? It smells like strawberries. You have one? Ergo. That guy catches some big old crappie too now. Pretty much everyone except for us catches, catches good crappie. We're, uh, we can catch them at the ponds, but we're going to upgrade electronics maybe in the spring. What'd you say? See if we can get some side scan. Huh? Getting a what in the spring? Chickens? <laughs> yeah, Sophie's getting chickens getting in the spring. I'm getting chickens in the spring. I'm She's excited. getting chickens and I'm getting a depth finder, so it's pretty good oh, trade. Oh, you are? Okay. Awesome. Is that something that mounts to the boat, or yeah. how does that work? Yeah, it's uh, just where ours are now. This is going to have something called a transducer? Mm -hmm. That thing that goes in the water? Yeah. Okay, see, I know some stuff. Not a lot. You're doing a great job. <gasps> kitty! Is it kitty? Is it, it ki is a kitty? Kitty? Meow. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Everybody saying hey to everybody. Bank fishing, hey. We got somebody from Tennessee. Oh, yeah. Still at work, about ready to shut it down. Still at work? Oh. You need to better. Nothing. Oh. He still has black and white. Catch more crappie on hair jigs than plastics. Oh, well, good. That's a good deal. <laughs> 
Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Okay. Cool. How many people we got? Nine. Okay. Cool. Want to see a I see it. This is a um, kind of a silver flashy it's body. Hot. It's pretty. I think it'll look good though behind the with the chartreuse tail and the head. Put it in here. So good. It's the ones that smell, that have scent. Dylan got a ton of Play Doh for Christmas, so he is yes. in hog heaven. He got a ton of all kinds of stuff Ew. for Christmas. Oh my gosh, yeah. Trucks, it's all the lights. We got a bunch of them. A bunch of stuff he already had. Yeah. He already had a bunch of tricks. He's got more. I see it. Look, who's that? Well, I got a, uh, I got a haircut. Sophie cuts my hair, so. I tried to put some of my hair on a jig, and it did not work. Do you make it? Up? No. You don't want to show them? No. It doesn't perform. Um, it doesn't have the movement that, like, an animal feather or marabou or anything has. So it did not work. Oh, well, I don't know if it worked as far as catching fish, but I haven't thrown it. It was an actual fly. This? Uh, oh, Carl sharing links with people. I need to see if I can make other people moderators. I think you can off of a phone. Okay. And then do um do um yeah. How many can you do at a time? I think you can do everybody. You're making a Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty! See Hello Kitty? How do you know what that is? YouTube stuff. I guess. The YouTube kids. You might just be saying hello to the kids. Hello Kitty! You want to show them? You want to show them? What are you working on over here? What kind of project do you got going on? Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> what color is that? That's, I think, that is, pink, man. That thing's a little bit pink, buddy. Yeah, hello, kitty. Oh. Thank you, baby. You good? Good job. I'm going to make more hello, kitty. Okay. You're going to make more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one's a little chartreuse yeah, tail. Mm -hmm. Who's that for? It was just... Who wanted to see that? I, he didn't say he wanted to see it. He was just saying he does pretty good with white and chartreuse. Oh, okay. This is kind of a sparkle. We need to get you a little comb, something or another. To... I know, a little brush. To I don't have separate don't everything. Dylan's hair brush, but it's not work. No. Do you think his little soft bristle brush? Mine. You want me to get it? Doesn't no, no matter. Same. Neat little thing. It's got a black dot on the tail. That's not intentionally. That is from Dylan flinging a sharpie around. But that's all right. It adds to it. I like it. Oh, yeah. Okay. More Hello Kitty. More Hello Kitty. When the drone battery is charged, what color is the thing? It's solid green. Okay, it's still flashing. Here's Dylan's comb. I mean, brush. <laughs> we hope so, man. What? We're going to get him on his first fish one of these days. He's just kind of... um. 
He's not ready for a hook yet. Right now, he gets pretty wild with the just the bobber on there, so. I'd hate to catch a hook in the yeah. eyebrow. And somewhat brush it out. Which one? Hey, Jolly Bait, I tried to make... Green. This one's a little I bit more green, crawfish green. color. It's a little more green. darker yeah. orange than yellow. Yeah. It's got a little bit of red in there. Our crawls right now are... I found some inside some spotted bass a couple weeks ago. And they had some orange and red on them. They weren't... They weren't real crazy, so... That one might work. I just have to paint that jig head. But pretty neat little thing. And then this guy's solid orange. But the um, main thing I was trying to check want to be, I appreciate that, man. We're just, uh, I'm learning on stuff, so definitely not pro at it, but. It's a lot of fun to sit here and especially we took, let me grab some of our trout. We took these, our local college stocks trout in their ponds and we tore some trout up on this color. 10 man magnet fishing, hello man. I appreciate you coming in here. Who's that? This. We uh. Did good on that. I think the video on this one. in northern Arkansas. Did you want to read that? It'll drop. Work awesome here in northern Arkansas. Yeah. I'm wanting to get up there to... Once our son's old enough to fish at that spot that y'all went, took your children. That was... Looked like an awesome time. We've been wanting to go, like, up to Cotter and go actual, like, trout fishing. The stock trout are a little bit, uh, they're a little bit stupid. You can just throw out like anything, I think, up there and catch them. But it's still fun. This kit come with like some samples of stuff, of course. I don't think this will ever focus. The forward facing camera doesn't. Anyway, it's elk hair. We're gonna try it. Flipping Arkansas. Man, I went to a church, um, like a church camp when I was way younger. And there was a, the flipping Church of God and we thought that was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> I don't know, it was just a funny thing to see pull up at church camp. But we're a pretty good ways from flipping, I think. We're we're over close to Mina, so not too far off the Oklahoma line. I'm gonna throw some of this elk hair on on one, see what it looks like. What's that? Like a little miniature bucktail jig. Blue? I ain't got my thread ready yet. Cherokee Village. Hey, Tile Rob. How you doing, buddy? We were just testing our internet, and then we've got a few folks on here, so we're going to hang out as long as y'all want to. Pretty much, we got church in the morning, but it's still pretty early right now. Oh, yeah. 7.46. You got all night, I do. Okay. Alright, get this out of here. The first couple of jigs I tied, I went around the hook shank, around the actual tip like that. And didn't realize it 
until I'd already like whip finished it at the end. I realized what was going on. It was a uh, first couple I made were pretty rough, but I'm getting better at them now. Yeah, they're gorgeous now. I'll show you all the very first one. It's not that they're bad. It's just you've gotten better. Right. Yeah. And this is an actual fly, too. So, it looks awful. It's an attempt at rabbit dubbing that I tied in. And then this is peacock hurl. Before I realized what hurling was for. Um, what does that mean? It's to, like, go around the collar. You go around the hook with it instead of, like, using it as a... Oh, you used it in the wrong way? Yeah. I don't know if Jolly is still in here or not, but this would be a sinking fly. It's similar to, like, a woolly booger. It's just massive. The hackle Whoa. on it's huge. Oh, you see that? You see that? Huh. Yeah, I saw it. But that is oh. Crawl City oh. right there, I think. Especially for, like, little... You probably even get creek chubs or anything with this, but something small... The focus is horrible on the forward facing, but I put that little metal bead on the tip of it. Purple and gold fly. LSU, huh? Hey! <laughs> Who said that? Oh, I think I know, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's my father in law there. That kit, he got it for me off of, um, it's off of Amazon. It's a Colorado River, Colorado Angler, Jeez. something like that. But it is awesome. To the cheese? <laughs> yeah. It's an awesome little kit. It's you all to, it's all metal. Folds up into this little box. Which right now I've got feathers and stuff all in it. It's got all the like bobbin threader, whatever it's called. The uh like a thimble kinda almost. Does he want a purple body? Yeah, we'll do purple body and gold tail, yellow okay. tail. Is that good? Is that purple enough for you? <laughs> that is purple. <laughs> and then what do you say? Oh, yellow, yellow, yellow tail. We do yellow tail, and yellow uh, head. Where is this at? We want, oh, this one right here. There you go. Use this one. Then. And then a yellow, yellow jig head. A white head or what? I'm ready. Okay, don't actually eat the photo, okay? Pick y'all back up. Sorry about that. I just love this feather. It's so huge. I, yeah. It's so fluffy. That's my, it is, it is silly. It's. I like it. <laughs> it's awesome. Dylan likes it's it pretty. too. Small mouth will smash it. I hope so. If you tie a purple and yellow, you'll skunk all day. I know it. Who said that? Want to be. He's from Arkansas up here. Y'all be nice. <laughs> Do you want yellow uh, string or? Oh no, purple. No, the black will be good. Black? Yeah. I don't have black. Oh, I've okay. got black already on. Okay. And then what color did you get? Uh, yellow. Okay. Fresh goose feathers yesterday. That's awesome. There you go. I'm messing everything up. I'm so sorry. Right. I'm a bit sorry. Okay. Where'd you be? <laughs> You're fine. Looky here. I don't even know what this is, but it's ready. There you go. Broccoli. What is it? Is that broccoli? Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't need more broccoli. You need more broccoli? Okay. Are you making broccoli or are you eating broccoli, bunny? We're grilling broccoli. Grilling broccoli. Man. He's, he's calling this broccoli. I don't know if it's... That tells me what it is, but... Here you go. It can be broccoli if he wants. You want broccoli? There you go. Right there. <laughs> I, I understand, food. Rod. I appreciate you dropping in. He's leaving. Yep. Bye. He said, getting close to this old man's bedtime. Usually it's mine too, but we're partying tonight, so we'll stay up till at least 8.30. You know. At least. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. 
Maybe even nine. Sometimes ten if we're real wild. Thank you again, Rod, for dropping in. We appreciate it. Thank you for letting us know. It was. Thank you for supporting. Yeah, always watching all the. Everyone in here is always watching all of our stuff. We appreciate it. Y'all are awesome. We have a lot of fun messing around and making these things. So. Let's see. I got the purple one. Oh, you're doing something else right now. Yeah, I started this one. I'm gonna. Here you go. Hot dog. What color put on that bucktail? Okay. Trout Slayer. What's up, man? Thanks for dropping in. We're testing out our internet and. Uh, tying jigs. Yeah, just tying a few jigs tonight and seeing how that goes. So. Whoa, is he there? Is he there? Oh. Put a green Chanel body on it. Yeah. Green with a... Mommy, it might look buggy. Just by the way, we're playing with Play-Doh. So yeah. They're over there playing. That was kind of alarming. Do you want some lettuce? But They're over there playing with Play-Doh and stuff. So. They only got a bunch of Play-Doh for Christmas. Here you go. Puppy! Puppy! You're welcome. Puppy! See Puppy? I see it. What are you doing, doing, Bubba? Making flies. He making, is. Making flies. That's a proud moment for you. Oh, yeah. This thing right here, if y'all have ever tied a jig or tied anything, whip finish tool. Um, I'm still not in time. I mean, I'm doing it correctly, but it is. I'm slower at it. I know a lot of people are just done. Whip it. Whip it out. But... I'm not the fastest in the world, but I know you make a little triangle and make a four. Keep that line up there and go around it. I go five. I've read on the internet three, four hold, but. Then you drop it off and it pulls everything tight. Basically just throws a bunch of half hitches on it. I think all of these are going to get eight, though. Let me put some more in here. That green kind of looks like a caterpillar. Cheese? So what are jigs mostly used for? Like, which type of fish? Crappie Anything and or? crappie and panfish, I think. Hey, it works on trout. Definitely works on trout. We got a video that we'll release. Um, thank you, buddy. He, uh, We've released... Um, wants me to eat some Play-Doh. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Bubba. We haven't released any trout videos yet. Besides, we tried to trout fish in this, the video we released yesterday. Yeah. But it was, um, we caught catfish we on corn. Catch them with some catfish. So, that wasn't quite what we were looking for, but hey. It worked. It's a fish, so I mean, as anglers, that's still a good day. Yeah. It was, uh. And you know we angle. Surprising. We angle hard. We try to. Sophie does. I've been struggling. So I'm excited for these upcoming trout videos that we filmed. They're... I outfished you. I'm just going to say. She did. I outfished him. I think the one that we'll release Friday, I caught... You caught like... Two or three and she caught like six. I caught like six. And she threw one or two back because they were small. 
It was a good time. We'll, uh, you threw one back, too, because it was small. Yeah, that'll be... That'll probably be this next Friday. Fridays, yeah. Okay. We are also learning quickly that we're probably going to have to do quite a bit of lives like this. Because um, if we're going to ever get watch time built up... We're going to reach followers yeah. before we reach watch hours. The shorts thing, hitting subscribers is kind of the easier part. Not that it's easy, not, and it's not like we're even remotely close, but... Okay. Watch time is something to get. You okay? You want to keep that one? There you go. The thread that I have doesn't oh, doesn't fit on the bobbin that it is on, so I have to put some on my smaller little That spool. was my bad. I didn't know that that mattered, the size of the whatever that is. I didn't know. Now we know that the smaller ones are better. Though. Yeah. I put that yellow on there for the LSU jig we're about to make. That's the quickest way I've found to get that uh, line through there is just get it started and then you can... It's kind of like threading the needle. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. She's trying to keep up with comments a little bit. Yeah. Glow bugs. Glow bugs. Learn, learn how to tie them. I have to look it up, Tile Rob. I don't know um what that is, I guess. Saying hi to this dude. There go. Hi. <laughs> There's Sophia. Hi. I am oh. up here. I'm just playing with Dylan. Dylan's. We just got the. Dylan, you want to say hi, Bubba? You say hi? Oh. No. No. <laughs> okay. He. <laughs> oh, he does want to. He was trying to get something to show y'all. There you go. What you making? Pizza. Pizza. Play-Doh pizza. This is a little grill. Oh. It's for Play-Doh. He got for Christmas. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I like it. <laughs> He loves it. See it? There you go. <laughs> that's a good looking pizza, buddy. Buddy, that's beautiful. Good job. <laughs> Dylan. He's a mess. Please? Okay. Mmm, yummy. Thank you. What is that? There's no issues um buffering or anything. Everything looks somewhat clear. The uh we have satellite internet. And we live in the country. We live, yeah, out in the country, so we don't have any other options for internet providers except for Starlink, which is Elon, Elon's thing, and it is at the end of 2023 is the first yeah. time that we're available. So that's kind of it's insane. Like, really insane. It's a little too crazy for us. Very clear. Awesome. Thank you. That? Your dad. Navi Outdoors, a new pro staffer for Jolly Baits. And we are going to Sweet. whack some fish, guys, on some Jolly Bait Company stuff. There we are. They got they got new bags. Yeah, the new bags new, are pretty pretty awesome. They've renamed a few things or everything. Did they rename everything? Yeah, so everything's renamed where we had the Wiggler. He had, um, oh, we got a, they got a new grub. It's a yeah. Green River grub. You it up. Cool thing about Jolly is he is based out of Kentucky, so now he's got everything. All of his lures are named after things in Kentucky. So the Little Baron Crawl, which is an actual, like, it's a branded crawl that has his JBC on the on the claw. It's the only one like it, and it's awesome. Everything's on your phone. I don't have it. Oh, yeah. Damn, my pictures. Cut. 
Oh, what, baby? Oh, we got some purple feathers anywhere? Yes. We've got those and we've got some of these. Are they purple? This is. Let's go with these. Okay. I don't know if that's pink or. This is pink. Yeah, let's go with those purple. purple. All right. Hang on, Bubba. Oh, I'm no, I'm hey, stop. Well, we're excited to have Navi on the team. He, uh, he's going to bring a lot of energy. If you guys haven't watched any of Navi's videos, he is a blast to watch. Yes. He loves fishing, and we love fishing. And it's just awesome to watch people who love fishing go fishing. <laughs> you can what tell, yeah, you can tell the people who love it, and they go fish and they have a great time. And he takes his kids out, which means a lot to us because we take try to take Dylan out when we can. Dylan, why do that? Oh. All these, every channel that we have in here is awesome. It's they're all awesome guys. We're making good friends. I know the community that is on YouTube is way tighter knit than I ever thought it would be. And I love it. It's really great. It happens. Oh, gosh. My you wear me out, son. My what? My is this in your way? You may move it. Yeah, put it right there, okay? Okay. 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 Kyle, Rob, take it easy, man. We appreciate you dropping in. Trevin is another good guy right here. Um, Hoping he gets out. He's the first. Is that? Yeah. Oh, I think it is. Yeah, okay. Trevin. First subscriber we've ever met in person. Yep. Which is pretty cool. Hoping he gets out to the college pond and gets some. Uh, trout. Get some trout soon. They stopped the trout last last month. Yeah, this is a LSU colored. I will say there's nine less trout in that pond, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we kept nine. Y'all see next Friday. Uh, we didn't do any kind of catch and cook. We didn't clean them on film or anything, but we did. We did clean them. They're in our freezer. Yeah, they're definitely cleaned up. They will not go to waste. Navi, I'm sorry. It was a request. It wasn't what. Somebody wanted to see this. Yeah. Sophie and her entire family are from Louisiana. So, uh, it's a house divided, but we make it all right. I mean, it's not like we have cable to watch the games anyway. Yeah, that's true. I'm just saying. My grandpa was real into Alice. Everybody? Yeah, Navi does. Send them on in orange and blue. Gator Man. Who's that? Oh. Gator Man. I think. Pretty so sure. What, what state is that? Florida Gators. Oh, okay. Who's that? Peppa Pig. Yeah? What's he say? Oink. 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 What's a cow say? What's a cow say? Good wow. job. Pig say. Pig? What does a pig say? Oink. Oh. <laughs> Gators. Good, yeah. buddy. <laughs> okay. Pepe. 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 Trevin, my bad. I just seen that. Um, you don't actually need a trout stamp, I believe, to catch and release them. You do need a stamp if you plan on keeping them. Yes. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not doing anything. It would probably be safer to go ahead and pick one up. Trout stamps for us residents in Arkansas is only like ten bucks, so it would be safer to have one. Unless you won't know. Yeah. <laughs> Scarlet uh, and, gray. and gray. Scarlet and gray? I 
Do you need a license to fish trout? Yeah, just thank you, Rob. My bad. Just catch and release. Catch and release, I think you're good. Go Tigers. Yeah. Um, what do you say? What do you say again? That one right there is about as Scarlet LSU as it can get. I changed yellow thread color. It's got a <laughs> purple body, yellow and purple tail. Oh. That is LSU. Wesley, I'm going to put this up because we're Razorback fans here. But <laughs> anyway, it did turn out pretty awesome. It does look cool. And I bet it would still catch fish. They might, uh, I don't know. How oh, they I do had it. A oh, there's a. Open. Oh. Okay, I don't have gray. We've got gray. We metallic. Like silver, kind of. I've got that silver flash. Oh, you've got gray. Or I've got just gray chenille. Chenille, chenille. And then we can do this, this feather with that. Bearcats? Okay. Definitely bearcats, man. Who said that? <laughs> Wesley. Stamp, not state. Where's he at? Is that? If you're targeting trout, you have to have a trout stamp. Okay, is this scarlet enough? For okay, so if you are targeting trout, yeah. It would be safer to go ahead and buy one for sure. Let me see. Uh, wannabe said scarlet and gray. So this is gray chenille. And we've got these little scarlet feathers. Stand, okay. Excuse me, being an open person. <laughs> Want to be. Okay. He's from got, up north, Arkansas. Oh, where'd you get that? I already have one out. Are you going to wait for him to say something? No, I'll make one. If it's not right, we'll make another one. <gasps> so I started a, um Instagram page, if y'all are interested in ever maybe looking at these flies a little closer or if you ever want to maybe purchase one or whatever um we have our natural state fishing instagram and then i also started a rock creek bait company rock creek is the creek that i have grew up fishing my entire life right here in arkansas i didn't actually start fishing until i met after i met him oh it's Ohio State colors. There you go. Ain't open up that fly fishing ball of wax yet, but we will. The gators are Ohio State. No, Florida gators. Ohio State's the Buckeyes. They're uh, I'm so confused. Gray and see, I don't know. I'm an Arkansas fan, I guess. Gray and scarlet. Do they stock trout in the summer? No, man, they don't. They uh, trout can't survive here. Yeah, they don't survive like in that college pond. There is trout year round below. Uh, Lake Greason would be our closest here. There's a catch and release area below the dam in Murfreesboro at Lake Greason that has. You ruined this going. That has trout. Good to this guy. Ooh, that's pretty. This one fits good. It's a natural kind of a brown color. I like that color. Is that part of the stuff that came in the mail? Can't wait to go fishing at the college pond. Have you seen the orange fish in there? Yes, uh, there is a giant orange. Orange. I think it's a goldfish or a koi or something. Yeah, it's some, huge. Yeah. Probably someone dropped a um, pet off. And they got huge. Hey, if y'all go to the college and try to catch those trout guys, they're not in the pond, the upper side. They're in the pond down below the college on the back side. There's just, just some catfish. And, of course, in the summertime, you can catch good bass in that upper pond. But Yes. And that's just for those two local guys that are here in Mena, where we're close to where we're at. So, all right, sweet. What? I'll truck, man. Y'all need one of these jigs right here. If I ever see y'all there, I have some of these in the truck, and I've got some decals I've been saving for you guys. If I ever run into y'all, 
But I've got a couple of these in my truck I was going to give you all as well that uh, yeah. they work good. Mammoth Springs and Cotter stock the spring in white all year. Spring River and White River all year. Nice. In Colorado? No, that's Arkansas. Cotter, oh, Arkansas. What? Oh, you said Colorado. Mm -mm. Mommy, We're hoping mommy, to go... Um, mommy, what was Been trying to catch it with bass lures. Okay. Um, you can also take, okay. just go. Okay. So these right here, Navi, we're catching trout, uh, range stocked rainbow trout that the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission Mama. puts. Wait, wait, Black. <laughs> What are you doing, buddy? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> he wants the black play doh. He's doing great. He's doing good. Oh, no. You want black play doh? It's not a golden trout. No, it's just a uh, just a goldfish. Soft plastic trout magnets. That'll work. And then um, corn, man. The uh, no joke. Like we, the ice fishing video that we put out, we kind of like ended up kind of making it a joke because we did get skunked, but we um. We did go back and caught a few on tra on just corn. Just put a couple of pieces of corn on, like a little, like a little gold crappie hook or something. Goose just dropped in. Hey, Goose, thank you, sir, for coming in here. We appreciate it. We're just killing some time. Um, wanted to test my internet. We've never streamed here from home, so I wanted to test our internet and see if everything was clear test like this phone holder thing everything and also tying a few jigs just messing around we've got a few different size and colors we're playing with anyway like i was trying to say um we're hoping to go to the beach on vacation sometime this year maybe like yeah i hope april april or may and um, we're going to try to saltwater fish. I'm pretty excited about it because I've never... Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I've never saltwater fished before. I've actually never been to the beach, but... So. That'd be fun. Okay, get it off me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Chartreuse spinner, yes. Hey, the video we're dropping Friday... Sophie, we found some yes, oh. mystery tackle box. Yes. They were the trout and panfish editions at, at our local Walmart for half price. So we picked up two of them. Sophie unboxed one. I did. It had a some rooster black, tail. It was Black Magic Company, and the color of it was Gold Rush. It was really, really pretty. And I... First cast caught one. Yeah. And then a couple casts later, I got it caught and I snapped it off. <laughs> and it was heartbreaking. So we saved the packaging and I'm probably going to order some of those. <laughs> yeah, we'll order some more. But she caught, yeah, first cast. I wonder if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. First cast, she caught one there on that, and then... Uh, oh, yeah, I was looking at the Johnny Bait. Ended up getting it broke, hung up and broke it off, and then tied on a little Castmaster um, spoon that was in there and also caught uh, several, two or three on there, and then we went to throw in my hair, these pink and yellow hair jigs just messing around and caught several on them, so... It was a good day. Here it is, Black Magic Tackle. That's what it was. Let me see if I can. Hey, hey, hey. No. You just play with the play-doh, okay? I'm trying to get in here. Navi already knows the power of a rooster tail, so we done seen him on Instagram tear him up. I want to get down there to no. catch some peacock bass. Would be so cool. Trout magnets are fire, or use a chartreuse spinner. Oh, you've already read that? Trevor said he tried Solomon Fisher in Galveston off the shore. I got up neck, neck deep in the Dang, water. 
to cast from my frozen shrimp out caught a hard head catfish neck deep how did you hook set that's like, insane how, how that's did awesome. that work almost that's pretty cool getting lost at sea for catfish yeah that's pretty insane i worked down in houston and we went to galveston quite a bit but i didn't uh i never fished Wow, they're, they're, um, products are, they got a lot. Do they? So fresh water, accessories. So where would I go to see the, and jigs. Rooster yeah. tells her must have. Absolutely. Navi said, hey, Sophie. Hey. We're all hanging out, Navi. We got Dylan. Dylan. He's <laughs> working He's on... He's mixing the Play-Doh. Uh-oh. He's mixing the Play-Doh all up. Why do that? Say hi, buddy. Get get something. Hurry. Hurry. Get Too something. Panic. Get something and show him. <laughs> He's got his Play-Doh plates. You got your Play-Doh plates? That's and nice. Mold. Okay. Molds, yeah. Cool. And a pickle. And then a grill for the play doh. <laughs> That's hey, cool, buddy. Dylan, Bob Bob said hello. You see? He said hello. He said hi, Dylan. Hey, Dylan. <laughs> he's working on play doh. He's got a very very busy. Oh yeah, he's got to be involved with. Helping us out. You still showing people stuff? Hang on. What is that? That pickle, B. It's a grill. Pickle joy. People doing. What are the people doing? Grill. 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 No, all about that play doh. Absolutely. Who said that? Navi. Ad. Oh. oh, you okay? Play-Doh catastrophe. Hey, okay. So this is no longer light blue. It's this color. No more light blue. No Walked back up blue. to the shore and waited. I didn't stay out there. And I was scared of stingrays. Dude, I would have been scared of stingrays too. And sharks and all kinds of crazy stuff. So these little feathers you can take and... I don't know what they're called, but you just, it's a hackle. I don't know. Fly fishermen are weird. I try to be one of them, but they've, you got, they, got on the, your neck. <laughs> they got the weirdest names for their stuff. It cracks me up, but I think that's just, it adds a little bit of bulk around. It's really, really cool actually, but the way it flares out. Okay. That, that rooster tail or yes. spinnerbait. That's what he. That's what they're name calling it on their website. Spinner bait. Yeah. Weird. Or spinners and spoons is what it's under. Okay. So it's black magic tackle, and I caught a fish. First cast on. A bunch this of fly guys on it's Instagram. Called, it's called Gold Rush. Oh. They have others apparently. Anyway, first cast. I caught a trout on there. It was absolutely insane. It was exciting. And it's it's a pretty big... I don't know if you can select... Is select unit the size? Yeah, it would probably be okay. 16. I want to say the one that we had was pretty big. Yeah, it was like a like quarter ounce probably or... Maybe. I like to push all that hackle down. What's, what's GM? Is that grams? Grams, yeah. So, 9.3 grams, is that a lot? I have no idea. Okay, I don't know how to deal with grams. But anyway. It was fun, though, catching Hi. trout. I like to wrap all that hackle down and just add it to the skirt, to the tail. I think it makes it look pretty sweet. 
It does. Why not? What's what I really enjoyed about it is you can do anything you want. There's no like rules, I guess. So you kind of have the freedom to be creative with it, which is neat. A lot like what Goose. So more customized that way. Yeah, Goose does an insanely good job on painting. His lures are crazy. This is kind of definitely not going to say the same thing because airbrushing takes a whole lot more skill probably. But it's cool. You can make custom stuff, and I appreciate the handmade. Handmade. <laughs> yeah. Handmade stuff is really awesome. American-made stuff is really awesome. Wait. Trying to find a good okay, color sorry. here. There you go. Turn it over. Let's go with Turn this gold. Over. Kind of match. Just make it match. There you go. Now there you go. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, you my God. The old woolly booger. Yeah, he walked up. Bunch of fly guys on Instagram. I love watching mainly flies here on YouTube. His shorts are awesome. Sharks aren't cold blooded killers. They look like seals. Yeah, no doubt. Inline spinners got my name all over them. I've heard that stuff about sharks don't actually attack people, but follow them on their own IG soon. Fishing with the Parker, welcome in, man. It's another Jolly Bait Pro Staff guy that we are excited to be teamed up with. Oh, oh, oh! He's the one that got the kit that you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So he's got this identical kit. He, we were messaging on Instagram. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> we were messaging Dollar on Tree. Instagram. It was just like, he's like, "Hey, man, do you think this would be a good kit?" I was like, "That is the exact same one I have." So yeah, I love it. That's good that you're liking it so far. Um, so you got. The little pack. I'm assuming if you got the materials kit with it, it's got a bunch of feathers and um, we got a DVD too. The dubbing and the hurl and a bunch of stuff in there. Everything else, man, we've went to Dollar General, oh, Walmart, Tree. Dollar Tree. Go to the craft section. They literally like. Yeah, you can get feathers. Just you can get all kinds of stuff. We've even got we've even got this stuff like. Yeah, any kind of... Cool. The only thing that I've read um, is... Hang on, Bubba. Hey, don't touch anything. Yeah, Colorado fly tying kit. Is that the name of this one? Navi, thanks for stopping in, man. We appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all have a good evening. Bye. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Aww. Woods to Water Bye. has materials for tying... Materials Ooh. and so does the fly shack. There's a there's a shop we need to go visit once we go back up to the big city. The tackle box. Is that oh called? yeah. I bet they would have some fly stuff in there. Um, as long as, oh, from what I read, um, as far as like thread and stuff goes, um, it'll come with a little spool, which I've got other threads on mine right now for different colored stuff. It is, from what I read online, and I've had not had a whole lot of experience yet, but anyway, as long as you buy 100% polyester thread, yes. if you buy yarn, like from Walmart, this is a 500-yard spool of 100% polyester. I think that one was like... Cotton will rot and will degrade, and then your stuff will come apart eventually. There's a good chance that I'm going to get mine hung up and break it off before no, cotton rots. But I would just get 100% polyester and just let it rip, man. Didn't get the materials kit, just the kit. That's totally oh. fine, man. Um, you still got like the the box itself with all the tools. That's all that you need. Um, you can, yeah, you can buy your materials. Yeah, grab anything, man. Like we've got 
just random cord that we're going to make just stuff out of, make flies out of, anything. Does everything need to be polyester? Yeah, it would be best. I mean, if you get anything that's cotton, it's supposed to rot. So, kind of a good little what tip. What about acrylic? Acrylic, I'm you not sure. About Table rock guy. What's up, Marcus? How you doing, man? Welcome in. We were uh, testing just our internet, and we've had actually a few people stop in here and hang out, so we're just going to hang out as long as y'all want to. I'll hang out as long as Dylan's not sleepy. Yeah. Once he gets tired, I'm going to have to. Table Rock Lake is... That's so Sophie and I took our honeymoon, and we did the Branson Bale across Table was that, Rock. Was that Table Rock? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. That was so you're a not, long time ago. You're not too far from us. Yeah, it was be five years this year we've been married. It's a big milestone. Yep, she's done put up with me this long, so. And she likes to go fishing with me, so. <laughs> Good night, wannabe. I appreciate you stopping in here, man. That means a lot. Thank you. Six keeper crappie today and only fished three hours. Yeah. That is an awesome That's day. That's pretty good. Yeah. Trevin, you said um, Alabama colors, huh? Alabama. Roll Tide. Yeah. Which colors is Alabama? They are red on red. There you go. Hot dog. Scarlet and maroon. I don't know. Are they really? Well, have you done anything with these red feathers right here? Mm, no, There's just the. Right have you done anything with the red feathers? Mm, no. Okay, here's a red feather. I do whip finish, yeah. So that, Dude, sorry, I should have, um, the next one, if you'll hang out just a second, I will show you how I whip finish. I yeah. use it on the jigs and everything. It's kind of tricky to use. Um, it's that not that bad. Once you get the hang of it, it'll understand. But basically, all that whip finish tool does is throws, like, I do it five times. It puts five half hitches on it, and it solidifies everything to where it's not going to fall off. That little dude, little gold guy, if you're fishing anywhere that's got an abundance of wild goldfish, that'll tear them up. Wild goldfish? <laughs> it'll be good, though. I think it'll still get bit. I'll go drop it in my fish tank, and we'll see. Uh, no. <laughs> Parker, what color you want, man? Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that a lot. I don't know if Trevin and Wesley, I don't know if they're still in here. Lola wants a cardinal and white jig. What? There we go. Your dad said that. What's that mean? What's cardinal? Just red? Red, yeah. Red and white? That'd be pretty. It's actually very easy, and I fish a lake with goldfish as bait fish. Nice. There you go. I'm excited to see you tie some tie some stuff, man. It'll be good. If you go live, we'll watch. He's in the all the pro staff chats and stuff with our Jolly Bait guys. Who is it? Parker's fishing with the Parker Logan. Okay. I believe his name is Logan Parker. He's a one of our only other ones promoting? that are really active as far as like promoting yeah. Jolly. Oh, thank you, man. Buddy, I'm wore out on Play-Doh. Oh, oh, thank you. So good. This one was pretty cool. I'll make another one. This one was neat. It's a white chenille, and I put like a white fan tail. It's really wide, and then I put another red feather on top of it. Mama, 
Then I put a, some red on the neck. I was proud of that one. Turned out all right. No. Okay. What, buddy? Don't tell mommy no. You don't tell mommy no. What's mommy, mommy doing? Boy, you don't hear my tune. Okay. Oh goodness. Are you being nice? Mm, yeah. I'm being nice. Wesley's sick. You okay? Looks good. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Marcus and Goose, y'all are awesome. Wesley's sick. Hopefully he'll get better. Green and black. Green and black. We can do that. Okay. I've got black jig heads right here. Who's green? What kind of... What kind of... Man, oh, this one. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. So is that good enough? We've got that green, then we have an actual, like, vibrant green pipe cleaner, too. We have... Black feathers, I don't know. Okay, do you want to do black body green feathers? I don't know. We have this green. <laughs> that one's fuzzy. Fuzzy, Jeez. wuzzy. We have metallic green. Um, we have green. You want to just do straight green, or you want you want black feathers? I don't know if you have black feathers. You want the shiny Trevin, the reflective, like shimmery green? Oh no! All these pop cleaners get out. Metallic green, sweet. Metallic. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll do it. Trying to think of something black we could run out the back for the... Your hair. <laughs> yeah, that's brown. It's getting a lot of gray in there. Dark brown. When y'all get married, guys. Especially hey. like Trevin when you're young. Watch it. It'll uh, hey, watch it. turn gray quicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his hair was gray when I met him. 30 years. That's awesome, Goose. What's that mean? 30 They've years. been married 30 years. Oh, wow. Congratulations. That's good. That's awesome. Matthew will be 30 this year. I'll be 30 this year in October. And uh, Sophie and I have been married for five years. I'll be 26 in September. In December, yeah. No, my birthday's in September. Yeah. You have glitter. That's all right. So last night we were sitting here doing this and we weren't live or anything, but... And Sophie and Dylan were over there painting. And they pull out a hairbrush or a hair blower and feathers just go everywhere like good, good lord Ooh. yeah there you go those are sweet this is the stuff <gasps> hey oh, absolutely hey. not baby boy okay we have this which is grizzly feather let me have that please that's off the grizzly bears they got feathers have... up north. They fly around. Oh, this is gray. I don't know what grizzly, grizzly feather. I have no idea. That's part of that kit. Back to what I was saying about the fly. The elite fly guys have the a peacock pearl is kind of black ish a little bit. It's more green. Anyway. They have their funny names. I can't get this green thread out. We might be using black. There it is. All right. We don't have to use this. This is the closest. We don't know why we don't have any black anything. 33 years you bank fishing know. adventures. That's awesome. Okay. 33 years married? No. 33 years married. Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, buddy. Mr. Jeremy. Is this black enough for... Whoever <sighs> said they wanted black? Who said they wanted black? It was Trevin. Okay. It's got a black head. What? Okay. Yeah, this should be good enough with the metallic green. Trying to get subs is so hard. Any advice? Parker, honestly, man, if you'll just um come into these lives, we have a really great community, and everyone's really awesome to help support everyone else. And I know every time I'm in a live and there's channels that well, I do not have, I'm sure to pick them up. And then other than that, just 
be sure you're having fun. I watched a few of your videos today where you and I'm assuming it was your brother was out fishing, just catching some bass. Stuff like that's great, man. Just have fun with it. You had a little jolly bait review, which is good to see up on your channel. We appreciate that. Is Dawn still on? I don't think so. Yeah, shorts are a good way to grow subscriber count. But a lot of those subscribers that come in and watch your videos will not return. I've had a few shorts. We've got one that went over like 33,000. We've got a couple like over 18 or 20,000 or whatever. And it's cool, like exciting to gain a bunch of subscribers all at once. But then the viewership on your regular videos doesn't change. So it kind of, this watch time is the, is the thing. That's where it's hard. Yeah, Jeremy, we appreciate you coming in. It's another Arkansas channel. And he's an awesome, awesome guy. He goes over and catches a lot of good fish on the Arkansas River. He's got a secret hole he goes to that I can't recognize. I'm joking. I don't go to, I don't fish the Arkansas River, so you're safe. Actually, the uh, the fish would be safe even if we did fish it because unless Sophie's with me, we don't catch much. That's not true. She does good. Yeah, just being in here, fishing with Parker, make a bunch of different kinds of shorts. Just being in here, I got three. That's awesome, man. That's what I'm telling you. All these guys that come into our lives... Or any live that we go to, the community that the fishing guys around here have is awesome. And it doesn't matter if you catfish. Sophie and I have tried to make some catfishing videos. I don't like it. We're awful catfishermen. Said I had one video that got me 89 subs, 52,000 views, and oh, wow. 3,100 watch time hours. That is awesome, Jeremy. That is insane. Especially if it was a real, like an actual video, not a short. A short, yeah. If that was a full length video, that was fantastic. We had one. I think we've had maybe it's one. It's on the Arkansas or, River. That's what I'm talking about. I think we've had one or two maybe videos that get over that got over a hundred a, a thousand views. Then we have one. We, I know we have one at least. We've got a couple of our videos. Um, anytime that Sophie's in the thumbnail, they do way better, which doesn't surprise me. That's not true. <laughs> no, but they. Uh, we had one. We had a quick creek fishing video that had like four point six thousand it did well and then damn bubba eight minute video posted a month ago you saw it when i killed that baloney oh yeah i hear you that was, a, uh, that was a good day of fishing anyway. Most of you, it's 550. Dude, that's so good still. Carl, thank you, sir, for dropping all the links. You're doing way more than, than you have to. You don't have to do anything. You're welcome just to sit here and hang out. But I sure appreciate everything you do. All you guys are awesome. I'm eating pretzels, sorry. How often do I go live? This would be the second time in the history of my channel. <laughs> Our channel. I got elbowed. Rude? <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, yeah, we don't, we don't go live, man. We, uh, we've tried a couple of times. We did a 100 subscriber giveaway and then we, that was months ago though. Yeah. We tried to go live one time off the bass boat fishing and it didn't work out. So we just kind of don't worry about it. But we're going to start now, especially now that uh, we know that it works. Can everybody see us and hear us? Goose says it's really nice to watch someone else make baits. You guys just keep pushing and posting. If you build it, they will come. That's awesome advice. Yes, sir. Do this more often. Well, I, uh, I'm having fun. And Dylan's being really good. That's what our, uh, our son's over here playing with Play-Doh. Actually, he's playing with pretzels. We're eating snacks now. What are you showing? You want to show him anything? You got anything you want to show? Not worried about it? I do. I got this cool cup for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I love it. It's got a lid and a straw. <laughs> Mr. Alvin. Hi, sir. Thank you so much for dropping in here. Mm. I got a fly rod. Let me show them that. Yeah, if you want to. You hear and see great. Thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. It's good to know. I'm really surprised because um, satellite internet is awful. But if it's handling it, we'll take it. That kid eats Play-Doh. Absolutely. It's mm. non-toxic. It'll strengthen mm. his immune system. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> he said, I'm telling you, that kid eats Play-Doh. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Dylan? Oh, yeah. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he I mean, has. I'm sure he has, but if I'm watching him, he doesn't. <laughs> all, Travis said all kids eat Play-Doh. Yeah. Sophie's new toy. my new fly rod. It's a Reddington. Matthew got it for me for Christmas. Um, this is the real one. It's a Reddington Crosswater. It's uh, the same. I'll show you the inside. <clears throat> this is one of the reasons. I still have, Look, I still have a fly on it. I mean, a jig. No, that's a fly. Is that a fly? Yeah, that's the, one of our flies. Isn't that nice? But I'll show you. Saltiest snacks on earth. It's still got. Wolo, thank you, sir, for dropping in. It's blue. I just wanted to show you that it was blue. So, anyway, cool. It's awesome. Yeah, that, uh, it's a Reddington Crosswater. It's the same exact combo that jumbotron is going to be giving away soon so you guys be sure and you get over there and check his channel out i've enjoyed watching him a lot too ryan's insane with his drone footage all of his b-roll that he puts on his videos is phenomenal and he's a great fly fisherman catches a lot of awesome trout in colorado so it's a lot of fun to watch that's jumbotron so tell him we sent you over there and I don't know, won't do anything for us, but, or him, except share the love. Ah. Goose said, what's up? Very nice, Sophie. Trevin got a Whoa. compound bow for Christmas. Hey. That's awesome. Yay. Bass and Mike, thanks, man. I appreciate you coming in here. We're hanging out. Okay. We was testing some internet, found out the internet's working all right, so we're just going to sit here and hang out with our buddy, tie some jigs and some stuff, and... Beat him with the tiniest catfish challenge, half an inch long. What in the world? Half an inch long? Where did you catch a half an inch long catfish? Who said that? It's Trevin. Goose said very nice about your... Uh, Thank you. Fly rod. Just We're, curious, has anybody ever bow fished on here? I really want to get into that. Um, I mean, I've never done it. But I think it'd be cool. Oh yeah. I think you have to be careful maybe with the The fish? I mean uh, just with the blood and stuff on YouTube for the guidelines. I don't know how they mm. take it. Would you have to like make it black and white? Maybe. I do anytime we're skinning anything or cleaning a fish. D race creek, baby blue cat in a creek by hand. Nice, right by the country club. 
That's cool. Mm. You went down? Just be careful in general. With bow fishing? Oh, yeah. Who's in that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad. No. Wait, what did he say? What? My brother caught a 0 0.10 ounce catfish. It was seven inches. That's a tiny little catfish. How is that possible? Like it's long. It was long, but like really skinny. I guess just a small little catfish. Th who said that this was a salty snack? Trevin. I agree. It's Saltiest very, snacks on earth. It's very very dry too. Don't yeah. shoot my son-in-law. Your dad said don't shoot me with your bow fishing rig. I try not to. I would also appreciate it if you didn't. I haven't even hooked you. Just your clothing. It's, but bow fishing is arrows, right? Yeah. Hey, Parker, fishing with the Parkers. Are you still here, man? We're gonna, I'm about to whip finish this one off. There he is. There he is. Perfect. Yeah. He said, Sit down, buddy. We were going for, for big, big catfish, cats. and he was very skinny. I agree. Yeah. All right. Okay, quit. Hey, stop it. Bow fishing, make sure your line don't get tangled on your reel. Make sure you have enough line. It will come back at you as fast as you shot it out. Just to that. Nice. Mr. Alvin, Alvin. Make sure your line. You have enough line, okay? It will come back to you as fast as you. Shot. Bass and Mike. Thank you. Definitely. Oh, like. Like it, it'll when you go shoot out and it, hit the end of the line and shoot back at you. Yeah, <gasps> that's not okay. Is that supposed to happen? Is that normal? Uh, if you hit the end of the rope, it absolutely campers, okay, campers then. in common. That's um, Goose's wife, Miss Mel. Here's our little her baby. channel, just like a rubber band. Good lord. So, <laughs> I have a um, I've got an ABS. Reel on the front of one of my Matthews bows. I've done some bow fishing. Yes, tenkara fishing. I'm not pure enough to do tenkara. It's I. What's that mean? It's the tiny little Japanese flies that people like meditate in the mountains of Colorado. Like I don't know. I just like to go out there and catch some stock trout. It's pretty fun. <laughs> right? Uh, how old is he? He is two. He will be three in he, August. He is almost two and a half. He two and a half in February. Never both fished. I'm too old to start now. <laughs> you can teach an old dog new Who tricks. Said that? Ugly dog. No. Too old to start now. For sure. No. He's Use the not. Zebco <laughs> closed face reel on my bow. Nice. That's pretty cool. All right, oh. Mr. Parker, I'm going to try to set this up so you can see how I whip finish. I don't know if you'll be able to. Um, I'll try to make a more like what detailed, in-depth video of this later. What color? But that hook right there that you can see, just hook it on that line. Okay. And then this notch right here in the back side of that. You want to wrap your line around and then bring it all up to make a triangle at your jig Look. and then holding your bobbin still no. go around no. it what? and then you can feed it more that was two three four and number five <laughs> after number five pull down with that hook until it slips off of that and then pull it up, and there's five half hitches, and you can pull it right out of there. I know the forward-facing camera is not very focused, and you probably can't see it very good. And I'll make a better short of that with the other camera. But 
Trevin, that's somewhat black. I didn't have anything black. That was the closest thing I had. Is it, did you use this? <laughs> what did Alvin say? Can you make a jig look like corn? Corn? I'll tell you what. We did. Awesome, Parker. That's cool. We use these. Yeah, I'll do it right now. We'll make oh, wait, no, some... wait. We had one that was yellow, more yellow. We use these to catch trout. Yeah, we'll yeah. make some look like corn. We'll try that right now. Okay, so what do you need for that? Feather? No, I'll just, or I can just build up. Um, you want this pipe cleaner then? Yeah, pipe cleaner will work. I'm going to do like black and like make it look bumpy. Yeah. All right, so. Or use yellow. This one. He's three. Dylan will be three in August. Yes. Try to go back. He'd break his arm trying to pull back a bow. Yeah. Who would? Uh, I'm pretty sure you were talking about Dylan. He um he tries to fish right now. What I I have like a little Zebco dock demon. He had a um, like a little paw paw patrol thing and he broke it. This, so yeah, I, I've put it on like a dock demon thing and it works good. I'll just sling out just a bobber. I won't have a hook or anything on it. Who's Make that? a play doh fly. <laughs> Crazy. Who said that? <laughs> Trevin. That's funny. Make a jig look like corn. Me and Carl going pike fishing in May is going to be fun. I'm jealous about that. I wish that Sophie and I could make the trip over there. That would be sweet. It? They're having a, I guess, like a big YouTuber meetup kind of. Um, going to be in New Mexico. New Mexico? Yeah, that's where Ugly oh, Dog wow. lives. I didn't know that. Let your son pick the colors. So I let him pick the colors one one day. Is it that one? I think it was this one. <laughs> Orange, green, and red. And it's awful. I mean, it'll... I don't know. It might be crazy enough to catch fish. It might work. I guarantee you they probably haven't seen it before. Guaranteed, yeah. I love it. That's awesome. Dad used to live in New Mexico. That's cool. My dad used to live in New Mexico. Make a Play-Doh fly. Uh, no <laughs> Play -Doh fly. I mean, that would work because the longer you leave Play-Doh out, it solidifies. Go oh, get it. Yeah, it works hard. when Play-Doh gets wet, it gets really disgusting. So, I doubt that that will work. All right, we need a hook. Okay, what kind? What flavor? Do you um, want? We can just go like one of the little unpainted. Okay. No, it's a little small. What for what? Let's go with this one. For what? Um, we're gonna make a corn. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna try to make one look like corn. When, and then we're we... gonna make a black and blue one. We got that. Copy that goose. We don't have any black. We can use a black head, and then we have blue. We have blue anything. Yeah. We have blue feathers. Blue feathers. We have. We should have blue. I'm going to have to find some black, some kind of black feather. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that'll work. And I can wrap it with black um, thread. To... You want to use these fluffy ones right here? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Get back down to the black here. Mm, yeah, we need a container for all this. Maybe vacuuming up feather bits. What do you say? Make, I make my own soft plastics and jigs for bass. I'm getting better at it. Oh, good. Getting better at it? Dude, that's awesome. Own soft plastics and jigs. Uh, I saw a brown fly. Those stock... Trout ate pellets when they were growing up. Yeah, that's true. Got my dry water in today. The new bags are fire. Awesome, yes. Dude, those new they bags are. They're really nice. are ridiculously cool. I like them a lot. I know the bags don't change, like, what's inside. The baits were already they awesome. Cool. But the bags, the presentation is a big thing, especially now that we're 
gonna start like getting into stores. I say we're it's a once Jolly gets in stores, he's gonna be a be a lot awesome. The bags will help a lot, so I'm trying to think and talk and can't do two things at once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you need? I was gonna grab one of these jigs. Okay. They look like a legit company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For they sure. Are. Oh, I know what definitely you're talking about. Legit. Yeah, it look they look like a real company now. Like with the legit bags. Yeah, the other bags did kind of just look like a Ziploc bag. Which is yeah. kind of what they are, but but it like you know what I mean. Yeah, it was like a Ziploc. Alright, so Hang on, buddy. You have fever with them thing? You're getting wild over there, kid. Hey, don't be doing that, please. Huh? A corn. Oh, hey. Easy now. You're going to lose it. If you throw it over there, you're going to lose it. It'll be gone forever. Let's go with a white head for the corn. Man, does the corn need to be more like down here on the, just one pellet, like down here? Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. It almost needs, can you grab one of those Aberdeen out of that mug? Either one. Let's put it on one of these. A little bowl hook? Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be better. So for those trout, I am. Um, Don't quit. We put them under oh. a float a lot just like a big yellow ball <laughs> yeah for real that's about what i'm gonna do here buddy quit gonna, don't hit stuff it's gonna go everywhere look what mommy just made all right grabbed a little number four hook here you go Do you ever do it live? Slaughter brown fly. So basically those trout are, like you just said, Trevin, are not the smartest things in the world. Who? The stock trout. They aren't. And they do eat anything that looks like a ball. Because like you said, they grew up eating. I will say the, the fish, the trout that are in the... The pond that we fished at, that's going to be in the next video release. Mm -hmm. The trout in there are a lot, or a couple of them were a lot bigger than the trout, the stock trout at Albert Pike. Yes. Which is, we will be getting into that. Giggy! Into fishing those probably, probably next month, do you think? Yeah. Probably February. We fished it, I think, February, March of last year when we were first, you know... Getting our YouTube started. I think our We're second. coming up on a year. Next month. Yeah. So that's exciting. Yeah. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Hey, everybody wants to see it. Nobody wants to see that. You're the star of our channel anyway. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> okay, I'm going see what they're saying. Oh, idea. I have no... I have my own swim bait mold and grab mold. I used to make some lures. Oh, that's cool. Who? Trevin? Trevin said that. That's cool. Did you guys see the fishing bike trailer I built? I haven't. I've seen the thumbnail. A it looks awesome. Trailer? What's that? That it's literally a trailer that they were pulling behind their bike. And it like had pole holders. And <gasps> oh, really? It's pretty brilliant. Cool. We'll have to go. I'm going to go watch it. That's such yeah, a good idea. Can you pull it up? Uh, I don't. I need to subscribe to all these people anyway. Yeah. Okay, so give me one. I'm subscribed to some of them already. Who, who said that fishing? I found a trot line in the water at Albert Pike. There was two rainbows on there. Fishing with Parker. I saw a wild trout. Is that the same? Uncle tried to catch a beaver. Very eventful day. Nice. Hey, is fishing with Parker not? Channel? Fishing with the Parker. With the Parker. I think their last name is Parkers. It's like fishing with the Parkers. Okay, is that him? Yep. 
All right, so Sophie's getting on her personal account right now and fishing with the Parkers. Man, you are at 22 subscribers right now, which is awesome, man. That's big. Okay, who else? So, that's an awesome start. Trevin? Trevin's got a channel. Trevin shows off of them. Is that T R E V? Y. T R E Y V? A N N or what? T R E V Y N N. Oh, excuse me. T R E V Y N N? It has chair holders, four rod holders, one cooler, and two tackle boxes. Dude, that is so cool. You're welcome. Um, is that him? Yeah. Okay. You have 120 subscribers now, Trevin. Trevin is... That's huge, man. That's awesome. Okay, who else? Ugly dog lures and camp I... campers in common. Ugly dog, I think, I think you're I'm already, already subscribed to both of those. Ugly dog. Lures. Lures. Yes, I'm already subscribed. 1.64K. 1.6. Ugly dog. I'm already is. subscribed in. Yeah, she's so already got... Did you got say common with camping? Campers what? in common. Campers. In common. That sounds cool. And then male. It's her, it's, so it's ugly dog lures. What do you mean male? Male? M-E-L-L. -L. Just, just do that one. It'll, it'll probably pull it up. Mm -hmm. Male. Oh, okay. Is that him? Yep, that's my Oh, I'm already following him. I'm already subscribed. That's that's Ugly Dog Lures' wife. Okay. Chilling, Indiana. Yes. Chill, chilling. Chilling, Indiana. Carl, that's Mr. Carl. Ray Baby, Metalhead Fisherman. Man, hello. Thank you so much for stopping in. And uh, we're just hanging out. We were just testing our internet, honestly, to mm -hmm. see if we had enough... Uh, connection at our home to go live to be able to do stuff like this. Hello. Everybody be saying that it says it looks all right. So. Okay, baby. Used to loud. tie flies long ago. Too loud, baby. Too loud. It's never too late to get back into it. Have to exit for now. Well, thank you for coming in. We appreciate it so much. Who's that? Lee? <laughs> mom. Your mom. Oh, my mom. That's awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, Chillin, Indiana. Mm hmm Carl. No, no, no. Carl has uh, 225 subscribers now. 225? That's awesome. I just subscribed. Okay, who else? Ray, maybe. Ray used to tie flies long ago. You can also go to here and get their channels. Oh, you mean just do that? Yeah. I didn't know if it would buffer. I mean, not buffer, but, um... This trailer was made from scrap wood and an old bike trailer. That's me that was just doing. That's okay. You say hi to me? Hi. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I can. It's back playing or whatever you call it. Yeah. So, what do I do? Just click on it? Yeah, you're a moderator, right? Oh, my God. I just joined. Go to channel. There you go, yeah. If it says go to channel, you can... Okay, subscribe. 2.36K. Who's that? Ray Baby Metalhead Fisherman. Man. Mom probably doesn't need a subscriber. <laughs> no. What does it mean when the thing is blue? What thing is blue? The, the name, when the names are blue and it has a little ranch looking thing. They're moderators for our channel. Oh, okay. Used to a long time ago, but I'm too blind anymore. You can see and hear great. Thank you for letting us know. We appreciate that a lot. Yes, Mr. Alvin. That's who's uh, oh, Alvin. Excuse me, Alvin. Bass and Mike. 376 subscribers. There you go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, I'm sure Dad's doing subscribers. Happy birthday. Uh, and Dexterity won't let you anymore. Well, 
At least you can hang out and watch some okay. other guys try to. <laughs> you can tell me what I'm doing wrong because I have really no idea. We just play around and. No, sir. Hey, let's get down. You're getting down. You're getting crazy. You getting crazy? Yep. No. Uh oh. Yeah, crazy babies get down. No. You gonna behave? No, I'm you mean? I've got to actually turn this around because my thread is backwards. What are you doing? <laughs> Crazy boy. Oh, I hate you. Are you dancing? Yeah, you're dancing. Dance, baby. Mommy, mommy. Dance, baby. Oh, wait. Okay. Hi. You want to say hi? Hi. Come here. Hi. Boy, howdy. This one right here is awkward. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing, Bubba? Hi, you see me? <laughs> yeah, you saying playing around is the best way to learn? Definitely agree. Hi. And that is all we're doing. Hi. Time flies while watching this. That's awesome, man. Baby girls. Got all my tying gear to just give somebody? No. Man, that would be awesome if you could, especially like hit up a community pond and find some kids that are fishing and learning. It would be fantastic to get them into it. Some of this is missing, and it's probably on our floor somewhere. What's the matter? I'm gonna say, does that look like a couple of pieces of corn? I think it'll work. Maybe. What are you doing? He gets mad when I walk away. Looks pretty good, Alvin. That's awesome. You see? Hey, that looks great. <laughs> this look like look like a couple of pieces that of corn. That looks like corn. There you go. It might work. I'll uh. I'll be sure and let everybody know that Alvin wanted this one. That's cool. <laughs> Is that a prize? Yeah, I'll have to. Well, I will um throw this on like a slip bobber. It's only good if it catches fish. That is the truth. That is so true. We'll try it out. We'll put it on a uh, bobber. We'll see if we can find anything. Two-year-old's fun. Yeah, he's a, he's fun. I'm gonna get some free advertising for Dr. Pepper Company. Uh, please sponsor us. <laughs> I drink enough of it, they could sponsor me. That's true. All right, Goose said uh, black and blue. So let's go with this black and blue head. Black and blue, huh? You want a long tail, like a big marabou tail, probably? <laughs> Golly. What? Dylan going crazy back there. It's only good if it catches fish. We'll definitely try it. What are you doing, boy? <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. You don't know? I Ever don't put know. vanilla? Okay, okay, okay. What are you doing, buddy? We need to take care of that. How do you sleep at night? I sleep hard, buddy, because once he goes down, he is down for the night. Fishing with a Parker, if you haven't 
see this the tag end whenever you're first attaching your line if you'll keep that pulled tight like at a 45 45 degree angle there it'll help every time you wrap push it down so that your wrap stay tight on that first on your first go around i don't know if you can quite see it but anyway it's a keep that up and you can kind of pull on it and tighten them as you go it'll help it attach better i always cover the shank of the hook because it gives something for your materials to cling to instead of just sliding around on that like a metal shank give them a crankbait without hooks <laughs> Really good on salmon twitching jigs last fall. That's awesome. I, we don't have salmon around here, but I would love to catch some salmon. So we're gonna start off with a blue. It's gonna probably just be a straight up blue tail because I don't know if I have anything black or even remotely black. I'm trying to think. I don't know of anything you could I could even use. Trevin say fly is fly tying easy. Um, the fly actual flies are just so small, man, that they are not. I'm gonna say that it's not super super easy to tie those. These it. To me, these jigs are easier, mainly just because you can see them. He's wired. Yeah, jacked up baby son running around. Oh, I like June that. Bugs, June bug jig heads work best for me. I'm going to try to get some, maybe some paints or something so I can get a little better color selection. Good night, all of it. Tell the Sofs and Dylan good night for us. Love y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out. We really appreciate it. We love you guys too. It's sleepy time for them. Yep. Let's see. Nine fourteen. Yes. Not too late, really. Old. He, in his defense, just had yeah he had sur dental kind surgery. of surgery, dental surgery. So I understand totally. I don't. Stand up too late. Yeah, I've not had dental surgery, but I. Uh, I've, had, I've had my wisdom teeth taken out. It's pretty horrible. Yeah. All four at the same time. Dylan. Dylan. Hello. Baba said good night. Trevin said dark brown? Question mark. Two big jig heads weren't the best for me. My little sister got high on sugar tonight. Oh, I didn't know you had a sister. <laughs> It's ten fourteen here. Oh, he's on a different time zone. Oh, nice, Carl. Is that East Coast? That looks like that. Oh, yeah. East Wait, Coast. Why Indiana. Did, why did he say that? That was dumb. Dumb question. What? I've always wanted a house that looks like that. Oh, just our cabin? Yeah, man. It's pretty cool. We've oh. got the grand tour here. Don't look around. <laughs> <laughs> We've still got... um. We're putting up Christmas, so it's a train wreck. Our Christmas going up the staircase, but it works good. Good for us. Are you okay? What are you doing, Stinky? Are you okay? You're okay. Stand up. See, look at him. He's fine. Okay. That's really pretty. Who are you making that for? This one? That's uh, two. Ugly dog. I got. Oh, wait a minute. I've always wanted a house. Get mold, make own, paint, powder. Paint. What happened here? Paint, powder, what? Oh, paint, powder. Oh, powder coat on was a lot cheaper. Like a powder coating. I'm sure. Oh. It cut it off. I don't know why it cut that comment oh, That's off. weird. I got two little sisters and an older sister that have n never met. That I have never met. Okay. And then you have a brother. Is this two brothers? Yeah. Well, Wesley the fisherman. Well, you got a lot of siblings. He said he, he, I love it. You making this for him? No, this was Goose. 
he said black and blue. <laughs> Who's Goose? Ugly Dog Lures. His name's Charlie. Oh, okay, I see. But everyone, everyone called him All Goose. All of his good friends call him Goose? Yeah. <laughs> Is this done or you can't use that anymore? That's pretty well, yeah, cooked. Got about everything off of that one there, guys. See what else? Oh my gosh, look how waggy. <laughs> See, it doesn't work when you're in the... Oh, I can just look on here. It's easier for me. Anyway. Oh yeah, Trevin was talking about the cabin that he loves. Oh yeah, thank you. What's Dylan doing? So I've even got like this this is literally one of those cheap um, nylon like plastic okay. ropes Crazy. that I pulled all the blue out of because I needed some blue one night. I think you could use anything. I mean I don't know. A lot of guys only want to use the hair off the south side of a elk and Norway or whatever, but I'm not that much of a purist. I'm using Dollar Tree pipe cleaners. And we catch fish on them, so. Okay, Trev Trevin said, I'm Dylan, telling what's up, buddy? you. He said, I'm telling you, at that age, you are invincible. I'm talking about Dylan. He could fall off that second floor and be fine. <laughs> I was talking about the cabin that I love. God, I hope he doesn't. We've got baby gates up, <laughs> protecting that. So yeah, that we do have a baby gate at the bottom of the stairs over there. You can't see it from here, but. We've also got a fish tank. Yep. That one's a little long back there. Okay. I'd almost use my own hair. I'd use my own hair as almost a foot long. Good Lord. I um, I got a haircut. Sophie cut my hair the other day. Or it was before Christmas, but... Oh, I mean I put some of my own hair into a fly. She got me this fly box. And uh, I put one, I made one with my hair, but it looks awful. I don't know, it's just not, that ain't it. It doesn't perform like animal hair does. You can see the difference in the ones that I've made where this one right here is the my hair one. This is elk hair, and then that's the peacock hair or whatever. This one right here is my favorite. Hey, I'm about to change the diaper. Pipe cleaners work well. That's good to know, Goose. I am. Everyone online, you read so much stuff online, and they'll say, like, you can't, and then other folks say you can, and then I just kind of went with it. I figure I'm going to break off and lose things before they rust and all that mess, so. And the pipe cleaners are cool because we got some vibrant colors. And then also these metallic ones are super nice. They look good on, on jigs. Hmm. I don't know what we're gonna do about the black guys. We're gonna have to figure something out here. We're gonna have to make some black feathers, too. Yeah. It'd take the rest of the night to build up enough black to make a body out of this thread. Hey Goose, have you ever attached a like a soft plastic to one of these? Using the thread, will that cut it? I kind of assumed that it would cut through. I thought about making one with like one of the Jolly Bait Helgramites and making like some kind of a Ned rig. Be pretty cool, but I didn't know if it would hold up or if it would just cut it. I don't have anything black. You got any kind of black 
Anything? Hmm. Hey, I can make this work, babe. Oh, yeah, they do. They just cut. Minnow mold may or may not be on the way. Jolly Bait Company. Woo! That is some good news, Yay! my friend. I'm stoked. That's awesome. I, uh, I'm excited. May or may not be introducing some crappie bait soon. Jolly Bait Company. I'm stoked about it. Absolutely. All the creek fishing and stuff that we do, it's going to be just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, Jolly, we got the fishing with the Parkers. Logan's hanging out. Navi was in here. Not sure. Never did that. All right. Well, we're going to try it out one day, Goose, and we're going to see what it'll do just for the fun of it. Yeah, Navi come in here and hung out with us for a little while. And oh, over long said, not sure, never did that. Yeah, attached the uh, soft plastics. I wasn't sure. Dude, the new pro staff, I'm excited about. I'm excited to have folks that are actually talking and communicating, and we can actually make some, get some opinions and have some stuff happen. Sophie's excited to catch some uh, some fish in the creeks on some crappie lures. It's tough when it's winter. Yeah, the winter time, everybody knows. For everybody, time. it's cold and the fish don't want to eat. I was trying to focus on this, my bad. Oh, I uh, oh Jolly, I was just telling them. Uh, hey, this drum battery store, can you help me? Yes, please. Yeah, and we got a drone that I test flew today, and I'm pumped about that. Get some footage in our videos. Yeah, Sophie just, that's what reminded me. The battery just finished charging. It's six hours. Sorry. Yeah. A little drone battery. Six hours charge time. Kind of brutal, but I love it. And uh, just to have one now, to be able to have like some extra footage to fill in some of our videos with, and we can get aerial views of where we're fishing and. Just everything's gonna be sweet. Be some good footage. Definitely. Need to ask D Ray if you can fish in the creek. Three pounder in there. Dang, that's crazy. In where? Saw five. Wesley wanna. $50 Bass Pro gift card from Steve from Wyoming. Awesome. That's awesome. Steve is an another fantastic channel. That dude is just seems like such a nice guy. Wyoming is beautiful country. For him to go up in there and, of course, everybody I'm sure has seen, he went up and killed that elk was fantastic. But Steve's a really nice guy. I love watching him and Mr. Earl bicker back and forth they crack me up but goose for now that's about all i got with the black and blue i just segmented that body with black bands and it actually doesn't look horrible i wish i had some black to put in the in the tail but it's pretty neat i like it black back black head 
<laughs> Sleepy Steve. What? Uh, he's hashtagging. Who said that? Uh, Trevin talking about Steve from Wyoming. Oh. Look, this is all I could come up with with the black, making a black body. You see? I love it. I think it's really pretty. <laughs> Crappie lure for sure. Definitely. So that one's like an eighth ounce. That's a pretty, like, good sized hair jig. I don't know how to show you the size of it, but. Blue cats in a creek? Yeah. Is that possible? I mean, yeah. I didn't know a catfish could be in a creek. Oh, yeah. I've got catfish behind Papaw's house. I guess if the creek's big enough. At Rock Creek. Rock Creek. Yep. Hey, follow our channel. Yeah, we got an Instagram page, um, Rock Creek. Let me get some tea. You want something to drink? Yeah, uh, no, I'm good. Am I pretty good? DM, do you a picture of my fly I made? Sweet. Man, I'm on my phone right now, so I'm not going to be able to check it out. But as soon as we get off here, I will for sure check those. Who's check it out. Right? Awesome crappie slayer. I hope so. I need to send them to some guys that actually know how to catch crappie, like Cousin Edo and Glenn and... Uh, Rod's Fishing Adventures is those guys are always catching crappie. I try to watch them, I try to do what they do, and then I just go out there and get skunked. So, I don't know, it takes a lot more patience. We like to chunk and wind. No, not really. You said you hadn't tried to put a lure on there. I think we're going to just see what it would do just for, so we can all find out together. We'll make another video of us testing all this stuff out. <laughs> all these lures? Yeah, we'll just have like a hand tied jig video. Or whatever. There you go. That'd be cool. You want me to tie one? No. You want to? <laughs> <laughs> that was a no. <laughs> Definitely not. I already tried the time one, and I don't know. He's better at it. He's faster than me. I don't really know what's going on most of the time. Oh, you know. It's just... Um. Oh. Yeah, I'm on. You, you I, I was telling the, Parker. It's my bad. The bass in the first college one. My, uh... That creek is almost right over there. Crappie Slayer. Logan, yeah. I'm on my phone right now, so I'll have to check that DM after uh, after we get off here. I don't really know. I'm just going to take just a random little grub. The huge bass plushes from Bass Pro. What? Over there, or it's behind Sophie. What? The back, the giant bass pillow that we have on top of our couch. Oh, let me go. Yeah, there it is. Oh God, don't look at our nose. Yeah, it's behind Sophie. Yeah, it's behind Sophie. Yeah, Dylan likes to wreck the house. Yeah. The thing, they're huge. We got a sunfish one too. Yeah, I have some. It's over here. Oh, can you point that at the couch over there? Yeah, you see it right there. Right there. Yeah, that's that a guy. sunfish. Sunfish. That's a giant, like a whatever, red breast or something. And this is the bass. There we are. I'll put them Wesley has the perch. Nice. No, I was going to try to attach. We should get a crappie. That or would a be trout cool. if they have it. <laughs> I don't know why you would tie a rubber to this jig head instead of just putting it on like normal. <laughs> what? Why would you tie a lure on here instead of just putting it on like a normal, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's normally how you would do it. Because it's not handmade. Exactly. See? I mean, somebody made that, I guess, but. Zoom or somebody mass produced. In mass production, yeah. Cranked it out. I think it's gonna be an this issue. has got all the love in it. All the love in the world right here. Yeah. Excuse us, we're weird. Oh, it's gonna be an issue of getting it to Yeah. 
Carl, yeah. thank you, sir, for dropping in. Thank you for all the links that you have shared and everything. We really appreciate it, and we appreciate you hanging out with us all this time. And we will see you next time we see you. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. All right, Goose, here's, your an here's our answer to the, if it'll cut it. It will. Very clean. If you wrap it around it and pull it tight. As soon as you start to pull, it literally just like butter. So anyway. You're not supposed to put those on there like that. You're <laughs> supposed to just put them on there like normal people do. Yeah, to answer, to answer my own question, uh, yeah, it's not going to work. So now we know. Glad we could all find that out together. That was fun. Um, just one of these days when, if Jolly, you know, we get a crappie minnow, I'm so stoked to throw all this junk away. Carl, if what? Yeah, I said goodbye to him. Thank you for sharing links. What'd you say about throwing what away? All those junk made in China lures. Replace them with all the jolly stuff. Mm. Definitely. Is he still on here? I've got a box in my truck of jolly baits that is a full like tackle box, completely stuffed. And then for Christmas, we collaborated and had a, um, I got a bunch of the Christmas lures in our Christmas video that you guys seen. Mm -hmm. And it was insane. He gave us so, he sent us a lot of baits for that. Thought it might, yeah. It, no chance. It was worth a shot, but. Oh, Jolly said that, yes, he's still here. Still here. It's happening for sure. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Somebody else joined. I don't know either. Joined. It went, it went up. Lots of seven. Oh. What do we want to do? Um. Do you have anything pink? Pink? I have pink feathers, pink pipe cleaners. What do you do need? Do a straight pink one. Just all pink. Yeah, pink. Pink head. Yeah, do a small one. All right, let me take this line off. Oh, go ahead with that, whatever you're doing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was seeing if that thing would stick. This is pretty if you want to go ahead and do something with this. You want to make something out of that? Do that and... What's the um container? Let me do some of this... Let's see, what do you need for the body? What's it called? Uh, just anything. Oh, use this. Okay. Where'd Some, you get this? It come with the, um... Why does it look like it's been... The kit. Why does this look vintage? <laughs> I have no idea. Why does that look vintage? I'm sure that our sweet boy spilled the something. Sweet baby son? Or here's some copper if you want to do something with this. This is. Yeah, I've got a ton of wire. wire. Um, your dad, I got a bunch of stuff from your dad too. Okay. Let me look at that. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, you. Oh, here's some black. This wire. Oh, does that matter? Yeah, use this one for the body. Uh, or should you use this one for the body? No, use that one for the body. So we're going to put a brown wire body on this one. It'll add a little weight, make her a little heavier, but that's all right. I never want to be heavy. <laughs> Silly. More. Yeah, more. Is that a small? 
Use a lot of pinks for trout fishing. Nice. Who said that? Oh. Goose. We got some, yeah, we, we caught trout on the pink and white, pink and yellow jigs that we made. Like this one. We've caught a lot on this kind of one. <clears throat> Dylan just said Dylan's the tomato's watching. tasty. He's watching YouTube. You can't see him. Yeah, he's watching YouTube stuff back there. All right, let's put a finish on this one. Why? Because I got to put that wire in here. Okay, you, you don't do that after? Yeah, I'll have to tie it in. Tie the wire in. Oh, how do you do that? I think I got to put it in here. This is really small. I didn't know it was that small. Yeah. You want to use it? No. Yeah, but this one. Oh, that color. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like the brown one. The white pink mostly because of eggs. Okay. Let's, um... What? I should have built that body up a little more. It's going to take a lot of the wire to build that much body up. What, baby? I don't okay, that's fine. No. What? Okay. I'm going to talk with you. We can. Okay? No, I don't care. Okay, great. <laughs> Let's put some of this Anybody on Anybody got any advice on potty training and <laughs> pinky weaning? That'd be great. <laughs> He's barely two and a half, so it'll happen when he's interested, I guess. What are you doing? Building the body up some before I wrap it in wire. You're real good at it. Well, thank you. I wonder if they can hear the fish tank. Oh, I doubt it. Yeah. Can y'all hear that? Our fish tank back there behind us rattling around? Or it's not rattling, it's just the trickling of water, sounds like. Where the water comes in from the filter? Fishing with Parkers said I do. You, you can hear it? Well, that's impressive. It's wild. It's way over there. Very satisfying noise. Nice. It's a very sleepy noise. Yeah. Pull this one up, babe. Yeah. Sophie, is it too late for coffee? Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> Goose knows you love coffee. Um. Two five two. No, I mean I would still drink it, but. Hey, two five two, what's up, man? I know some people wouldn't. Who's that? Oh, I see him. He's a friend I made watching Southern Wild fan. Another good. Both these guys catch some. Catfish now. Fishing with Parker said, I have I have AirPods in, so that's probably why he can hear the fish tank, I guess. Oh, nice. 252, Fishing. he can catch some catfish. I'm going to go subscribe. 
on my personal account. So now you're at 365. 365. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing. He shared his link. Okay, Dom did. Nice. Yes. I do love coffee. Mm. And I would drink coffee at this hour, but I'm not going to. <laughs> if it's if it's this like I will instead of coffee I'll replace it with hot chocolate. Especially when it's cold. I like drinking hot chocolate. Try turning my phone sideways right now. For what? Why? What did you say? Orientation is locked. Oh. It said nope. It said orientation is locked. Why does he want you to do that? I don't know. He'll tell us. Drink it all day long. Man. I used to. I don't now. Mostly because it's cold usually. So I have to like reheat it. And then I forget this in there. And then I don't know. It's just. I'm chasing the kid all day. <laughs> so. It will make you full screen. What's that mean? Oh. We're sideways. We're. Oh. The whole time. We've I didn't been... even notice that. Okay. Ain't nobody let us know that we're small. Y'all st been staring at a little bitty box? Dang. You want me to try to Actually, see if no. I can unlock it? As long as their screen is full, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. If you make your screen full. You rotate your phone, 252. But then you can't see chat, so. I think, press that chat button right there. Oh yeah, so he can't see chat. Well, up and down is for TikTok and shorts. Well, darn. I like it. It's been working. Next next time we go live though, we'll, uh, we'll yeah, keep we'll that in mind. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, definitely. For the, Thank you for, for that. Tip. First one that's mentioned that we were sideways. Yeah, seriously. Or our orientation was off. Yeah, but when I go full screen on here, it's um, it's full screen. But well, then you can't see chat, right? No. Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll mess with that next Yeah, time. I try to turn my phone. It says orientation <laughs> is locked. Rotate device back. It just says orientation is locked. This go around, so. That's okay. Yeah, let's see what it did when you were turning it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> my bad, guys. Yeah, I didn't know we were, I didn't even think about it being straight up and down. That makes sense, because we usually, when we do B-roll on our phones. Yeah, it has to be sideways. It has to be side horizontal. Now we know, like I said, it's the first time we've ever went live off of a, uh, off of the computer, or the. He said we're not sideways, just small. Yeah. We're in, yeah, we're in short format right now. So we're, we've got the giant black things on each side. What's that? Uh, somebody followed Getting us on forward. Instagram. So we've got Rock Creek Bait Company now on uh, Instagram, but still working out all the details. I don't know any, not a single thing about using like Venmo or Cash App or any of that mess.
Wait, what'd you say? What'd you say about Cash App? Beautiful jig. Thank you, sir. That's a... That was a comment. It wasn't a... Who was that that commented? A uh, whole other level outdoors. How do you make this big? Oh, I see. Is he, is he on here? Not anymore. Oh. But he's on YouTube? Yeah. Um, hello? <laughs> he's on YouTube, but he's not. Oh, see. Fishing local. Okay. You're not sideways, just small. We'll definitely have to order. Thanks, man. He got a 41-pound catfish three months ago. 252 is a beast. That is massive. Yeah. He caught... 252, how big was that fish you and Wild Fan caught on that, uh, your little Zebco kitty rod? What? He caught... 252 caught, like, I want to say it was something insane. Like, 16 pounds, maybe? It was crazy. 44. <laughs> it's ridiculous. 44 pounds? That is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Hey, somebody said go Razorbacks. On a kitty, kitty pole. You were not sideways. We'll definitely have to order. Go Razorbacks. Woo pig. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, he said something. Goose. What? Ordering. Yeah, we'll definitely have to order. Awesome. That's awesome, Logan. Uh, order what? Uh, I told him, I said uh, about our Rock Creek. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got, on your community post, I don't know how to say that. Or, Ergo. Huh? Ergo yeah. Outdoors. Have you read all this? No. He said, I like it. I caught more crappie on hair jigs than plastics this whole year. Ugly Dog said, love it. Chilling in the innocent looks good. And then Traven put a fire emoji. Ooh. Fancy. 44 pounds on a kitty pole. That's insane. <laughs> I ain't never caught a 44 pound fish in my life. I've never even seen one. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen, yeah, a Bass Pro. That's at Bass about... Pro, yeah, that's about it. That's funny. That's insane. Wild Finn's a good guy, too. Southern Wild Finn. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't come into lives a whole lot. He does... If he does, he doesn't get on and chat a whole lot. He's all about growing his uh, channel organically, and he gets long. He got a lot of people that's been watching his videos for a very long time, Organic? which is awesome. Yeah, just like letting people find his stuff, and because they're searching for it, kind of thing. Oh, that little dude, this little copper body. I don't know. I like it. That was a request of nobody, okay. really. So, Wifey. yeah. What was the next one you said? Pink? All pink? You said all pink. Yeah. Or you can use this rainbow one. This is cool. Yeah. Rainbow cord. Yeah. Oh, let me see if it's poly. 44 pounds. That's insane. Do you want a big pink or a little pink? This actually doesn't say what it is. Is kind of weird. It made him giant. What? Very nice. I'd fish it. <laughs> really? That's awesome. A oh, little pink. Little pink? All right. Yeah, that, that big one's huge. What color thread? Pink. 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 Oh, we, we doing it. <laughs> all right. I'm allowed to have a pink jig as a woman. You want all pink? California beach fishing. Hello. How are you doing? We appreciate you dropping in, man. We was, uh, we was on here just gonna hang out for a minute or two and just make sure our internet worked. We've had a lot of fun being live, so we're just hanging out now, tying up some hair jigs and... Travis said pink and green. California green Beach Fishing, I just subscribed to you with my personal account. California Beach Fishing. I guarantee you, you've caught some big old fish. I just fish. My face every now and then, just... So they don't forget me. Let them know you're still here. Yeah. Let them know you care. I care. 
black hair. Oh, honey. Okay, I brush this out a little bit. What? Does it look any different? <clears throat> no. Okay, we need to do something about that. We need a little steel wire brush. I think that's what all the... Ooh, ooh. The focus is awful, too. Also, I missed a lot of wrapping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good Lord. That's the other side. The side that was facing me didn't look that bad. Oh, yeah. It was facing this way to you. You have to, like, look on at the camera and see, <laughs> like, what the other side looks like. Sophie, you tie flies. Um. <laughs> <laughs> She's done it. I, I did. I tied one before. Um, I don't know, like a couple days ago. I don't know. It, it was okay. I don't like it near as much as he does. I love it. So with our Rock Creek baits, it's 100% probably going to be him making them. I can do like the girly ones, like pink and purple or something, you know? Yeah. Okay, so just curious, is most everybody on here central standard time? Deuce would be, Ugly Dogglers would be mountain time. Okay. Carl was... You should be his manager. Eastern. I agree. There there you go. Um, yes. I vote yes. <laughs> I like it. She's already the boss. I will so definitely like be in charge of two taking, five two Eastern like time. sending packages out is probably what I'll be. Yeah. Definitely in charge of. Okay, fishing local is Eastern time. Eastern time. They're over Is that South two Carolina hours ahead or, or North ahead? Carolina? Carolina? I don't know. South or North. I don't know. So I'm going to say South Carolina. Carolina. What? So what time is it there? It's 10.44. 10? It okay. Yeah. North Carolina. My bad. Dang it. It's close. I knew it was one of them. Pink. I know. what pink. I'm looking for a pink tail. Do you want a tail on or do you want it just to be a pink body? I mean, yeah, I want a tail. Pink tail? Mm -hmm. I don't think that. Oh, here. Oh, these. You want that kind of paint? No, I actually don't want that kind of paint. Let me see. Mm -mm, not pink in there. Fishing with the Parkers? Where are you from, man? I don't know if I've ever... Oh, actually, yeah, I do. Arizona. I got you. I we, don't, we don't have any pink feathers? I'm... One of my dream bucket list places to go is Lake Havasu out there in Arizona and catch some of those insane, um, like, bluegill and red ear and stuff. The sunfish in Lake Havasu are ridiculous. The world record twice. Is that pink enough, do you think, guys? Yes. <laughs> That is so pink. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts. It's so pink. I like it. All right. It's not going to be the same color pink no. as the tail. I mean, as the gig head, but that's okay. We both there. Nice. Dude, that's awesome. I just want to go fish under the London Bridge thing, whatever. Fishing Local 252 said, I've never fished with hair jigs. Never fished with hair jigs. Hey, we got a company. About Dude, to start, I tell you. So. Yeah. I bet Wildfin has. You fish around him much with them crappie, I bet he'll put you on a hair jig bite. How much of this do you need? Um, that's plenty, yeah. I didn't know. I think I just missed all of this. Oh, I don't like that. Right there, I'm going to cut that off. What? I mean, just that one little piece. It was... That's pink. <laughs> it was very pink. Here's your string. Right now, 252, we're just... Okay, I'll get it here in a minute. Oh, wait. Would you have to take that off for that? No. For the string? For the body? No, I'll put the body on. You put. The, I always put the tail on first. That way your body hides the serving. Or whatever it's called. 
Can you use this or should you use a pipe cleaner? I can use that. I can use whatever you want. Well, it's ombre, so you have to get a little bit of the white in there, too. I use whatever you want. Just, like, keep wrapping it until it I like need to looks... wear a black shirt. That would be ideal. You want to get you one? <laughs> no, we're too far in this thing now. Can you see? Can you not see that? It, I mean, I can see that it's one. It's pink. <laughs> I'm just saying if it was black, that thing would this... show up. Oh, if your shirt was black? Yeah. See it good. All right, good deal. Our shad run will be starting about 45 days. Pick up some hair jigs and try them out. Dude, you should. The uh, You can get gray hair jigs or any kind of. Some of them have eyeballs. Some guys epoxy or super glue eyeballs on the old uh, up here. Pick up some hair jigs from us? Uh, not necessarily from us. I'm sure he's got. So, um, Trevin, Trevin, sorry, Pokemon yeah. box breaks is from Mina, and he has 292,000 subs. That's actually a guy from school that Matthew yeah. went to school with. I grew up with him. His name is Julian. Julian. The only reason, and nothing against him, because Julian is an awesome dude, and he tears Julian some Julian. awesome boxes. He does a really great job with his cards. And he knows what he's talking about. And he's very sharp. Yeah, he's up to date on all. He keeps up with the stats. But um, he's got one video of him on here it's a short noodling a catfish 76 million views <gasps> he picked up 220 oh. something 220 thousand subscribers that's insane which nothing against him i love julian's a such a good dude <laughs> california beach fishing said i've had to put sunglasses on it's that bright <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> Nice, man. It's funny. We got. I should have. Maybe I should sit back here so they can see. How do you turn on the pink? Isn't there a pink light? Yeah, it's. Yeah. That's red. Green, blue. Pink. There you go. We'll really pink this thing out. Does that even look okay at all? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> all right. We'll go back to the regular old light. That's about right. Some more in there. Yeah, All right. So anyway, we got your pink. And then uh, you want that pink rope? Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut the white portion off. We'll use it for something else. Yeah, um, I graduated with Julian that Polk County box breaks. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm not sticking my hand. I'm not sticking my hands in holes for catfish around here. <laughs> Too many things that bite back around here. <laughs> I completely understand. Funny. I think guys that noodle are out of their noodle. Brave. I uh, I definitely don't, don't noodle. <laughs> Lake Cigaro? No, I don't. The only lake I know out in Arizona, man, would be Havasu. Um, I've spent like a few nights in Williams and Flagstaff, but never fished. I was just tourist um. seeing with. Yeah, Julian's on. Yeah, is it two twenty one? Which is still insane. Oh my. Yeah, that's the first thing that pops up. This what? is that video. 76 million views. Yeah. Go subscribe to him. He's... Five years ago. Yeah. Julian's a great dude. It's Polk County Box Breaks. I actually haven't even watched this. All he does is live streams. Um, it's not even him that gets the fish. Yeah, his buddy Daniel. Daniel. Oh. <gasps> That's Julian there, yeah. But it's awesome. He went all the way under. Is that? Oh normal? yeah, yeah. You go underwater to noodle. They are. 
Oh, that's Julian? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm, that's him. How do you do that? Glenn. Hello, good sir. We is hanging out. Oh, hi. Raised Outdoors, Arkansas. Glenn is a awesome what's, dude. What's his show name? Raised Outdoors, Arkansas. Glenn, or it's just Raised Outdoors here now, but he's an Arkansas guy. I, I think I'm, I'm already subscribed to him. Yes, Goose, it's awesome that you're almost to 1,700. That's fantastic. You deserve every one of them. You deserve a lot more than that, but you'll get there. Glenn, you behaving? Glenn, um, we are just... I like it. Hanging out, we were getting on here to test our internet to see if we could stream from home. We live in the country, so the Wi-Fi is not really, like, fantastic. Yeah, we've got satellite internet, but everybody's saying it's loud and clear and been all right tonight, so we'll uh, keep rocking and rolling as long as, as long as we've got people on here, we're going to hang out. We're just tying a bunch of hair jigs up. Yes, me too. Finally doing some, finally doing some real hunting. <laughs> They're talking to each other. Yeah, yeah, they. That's what we do. Everybody talks to everybody and. Race outdoors. It still amazes me. Oh, honey, he said I am Charlie. <laughs> no, Charlie asked him, "Glenn, are you behaving?" He said, "I am Charlie." Like, yes, oh. I am. Oh, I thought you were calling him the wrong name. <laughs> no. I was like, that's embarrassing. Where's that worst? Uh, the one I call Goose, his real name's Charlie. Everyone calls him Goose, so. Okay, you're confusing me. Love I know. The pink jig. Thank you. Hey, thanks. There you go. <laughs> Finally out doing some real hunting. I know that wasn't you missing all them ducks and that reel on Instagram, so. Was that one of your boys? I doubt it, honestly. Or your boy, yeah, Connor. Who you talking about? Glenn put a reel on Instagram of some guys out duck hunting. And they, okay. That pink does look real good. <laughs> gum, so. Mm -hmm. I know it. Thank you. <laughs> You're funny. No, sir. All right, I didn't hear. Are you done with the string? Yeah. That portion. Okay. That's bulky enough, I think. Yeah. My cousin's farmhand. All right, now sprinkle some glitter on it. <laughs> no, <it's good. laughs> Going to hop off. Well, fishing with the Parkers, man, Logan. I think I appreciate you hanging out. And, uh. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. That duck was mashing on the gas pedal. Yeah, it was. He was getting out of there. So explain to me how that does that. It just, you can do it by hand. Okay. To where it just half hitches all the way across it. But... That just, it's easier to do it that way. Yeah. But what is it doing exactly? It's just holding the line, the string like that, okay. against the body. Okay. And then it's just putting, it's wrapping itself on itself. Right, but how does it stay secure? It just, it's a half hitch. It just, the tighter you pull on it, the tighter it gets. Oh, okay. I, oh, good night. I stopped duck hunting years ago, but we used to knock the feathers off of them. I bet y'all did. I've never duck hunted. I've actually never killed anything ever. Except I hit a frog once with my car. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> 14 on a slow morning. Boy, that's a good morning. Yeah, this morning am I. 
duck some good good eating too well there's a little pink guy something, something i've always wanted to do also which we probably would never put this on youtube as far as like hunting oh i like it i'm gonna use this all okay. the time all the time <laughs> trevin said pink with green looks good thanks glenn i appreciate it thank you guys Comment a pink emoji if you like it. Oh, a pink emoji. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm going to comment, stretch we probably, my legs out. We will right. probably never put any kind of hunting material or content on YouTube. But I would really love to like, I think, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Frog. Gigging. Gig? Gigging? gigging? You like to go frog gigging? Kind of. Yeah. Because I've had frog legs before. Yeah. And I don't eat meat on the bone. <laughs> right. I'm a vegetarian. I love meat. Like chicken, but frog legs are really good. My my aunt Tina, she makes frog legs. She's from Louisiana, but she's pretty really good at it. Two five two. That is a one thirty second jig head, so it is not very big. Um, it's just a little cotton, or it's actually not cotton. It's a polyester cord. No, that's not it. This way. Yeah, whatever. Some kind of. Some Hobby Lobby. It's just a uh, little one thirty second ounce jig head, and then. Um, California beach fishing asked, "Is that a woolly type lure?" Woolly? Oh uh, yeah, it could be. If I brushed it out, I don't have a wire brush. If you brushed it out, it would um. Yes, ma'am. I'd watch it. You can catch them on your bass poles too, Sophie. You can catch fish on bass poles. <laughs> I mean frogs. <laughs> I mean frogs. It is kind of a fiber body, yeah. How do you frog fish? Is that what it's called? <laughs> frog frog fishing? Frog fishing? Yeah, no, right. that's I, not a thing. Is it? <laughs> they'll bite, yeah. They'll bite a topwater frog. I have never seen that. Or heard <laughs> that. Really? What's BFA? Bank Fishing Adventures. Oh. Sorry. Frishing. There you go. It's called frishing. It's called frishing? <laughs> yeah, just use Glenn, she'll believe that now. Are you joking with me? Okay. You cannot joke with me. I will believe anything you say. Absolutely anything he you say. He has a video. No, they will buy... It's not you have called, a video of it? It's not called frishing. I have a video of it. Okay. I guess you can call it frishing. I'm going to go look at it right now. That's I'm funny. Oh, wow, some, look at that video that pops up six months ago. Yeah, it's just featured. That's a big fish. Glenn is a beast on some limb lines. Squirrel hunting, tomato thieves receive life sentence. <laughs> oh, okay. I, like I just it. want you to know, I am subscribed to you all of y'all now. But I don't get on YouTube as nearly as often as I probably should. But he watches everything, so... I try to watch everyone he, that we're subscribed to. I try to watch at least some. He is always on YouTube, always. I try to watch everybody's videos. Everybody's good to watch ours. I dropped some deer jerky in the woods. I like your um, fishing titles. They're funny. <laughs> I mean, balls. your video titles. All right, what color are we doing now, guys? Girl, girls hunt too. Buck down. They got 1.9k views. Wow. Yeah, he, he does awesome. Where is this frog? Oh, is this it? Giant bullfrog on bass baits. No there way. you go. Let me see this. Every sub mm -hmm. counts. Yes, sir. What color y'all want? I know Trevin. I hadn't seen him in here a minute, but he uh, green, white, and pink. <gasps> Look at that! It's a frog on a lure on a hook. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. That's a big frog. That was crazy. That was fantastic. All right, green, white, and pink. Green. White head or green head? Probably green head. We haven't any green heads in a while. Good old frog legs. Got a green, lime green. It's kind of yellow on top, but. Somebody commented on that frog video and said. Was that Jeremiah or Kermit? 
He was a good friend of That's mine. That's funny. Okay. No nut jokes. <laughs> um, I have a video of it. Every sub counts. Green, white, green, white, pink. Look at my channel. I have one on a hook. Rainbow trout colors. Hey, we have rainbow. I mean, rainbow trout kind of look more like watermelons to me, but. Yeah. Because they're like pink and green. Look at my channel. I have a hook. I have one on a hook. A frog on a hook. You go see. I tell you all, this little vice is a lot of, it's really nice. It's just a, um. Is it a short? Which right now I'm covered in, of course, feather yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, you hey, we have that same bass pillow. Yeah. My big fishy. But it comes with all the tools. He's lipping it like a. That's so, I'm sorry. All the stuff you need. It's good. You having fun? I like it. Thank you, 252. We appreciate appreciate that. All right. Green, white, and pink. <laughs> he got a video of a duck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, have you seen all this? I've, yeah, I think yeah, I've watched I every see... single one of Glenn's videos. No, this is um Trevin. Oh, what? Yeah, this is Trevin. Glenn, somebody put... Oh, I'm no. looking for um the frog video. Mr. Randy put a monkey in a big truck. That was pretty funny. Like a real monkey? Yeah, one of the... Monk truck drivers. Oh wow, he's he's lipping this catfish. There you go. That's at the college pond. It looks like. I thought they had teeth. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's at the college. Nice. All right, Glenn. That what'd you say? Seven point two k views. White with chartreuse tail is a good color for water with thread fin shad. Do you want? Chartreuse. I don't have any like true chartreuse. I've just got yellow. Is he joking? Is that an actual fish? I mean, is that? Yeah. Most life like lure of all time. Trevin's frog. Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> insane. It's named the most life like lure, yeah. White with chartreuse tail. We'll, uh, Wait, we'll do I'm something confused. here in a minute. Is, was that? I put, I got this one earlier, Glenn. It was, it's yellow with like a silver flash okay? body. Okay. You ready to go that night? I think it's all right. We made a pile of them here tonight, guys. We've, uh, I don't know. How many have you tied? I don't know. There's one. If these, I know I didn't do these two tonight. Like 13 jigs tonight. Um, Mr. Alvin wanted us to try to make one look like corn. Look at that. I think it's all right. For the stock trout. Ugly dogs said, I need some ice cream, BRB. <laughs> <laughs> need some ice cream. I, I do too. That sounds good. And then Glenn, I'm sorry for this one. I had a request. It almost makes me sick. Go look at my smallest catfish short, okay? We I mean, made an LSU one. Me and Trevor. I think I'm going to just cast it into a treetop. Oh. <laughs> Why do that? <laughs> That looks good. Look, look at my smallest catfish short. Smallest catfish. Hey, Jerome, we got to get up going. Hey. Five, going to hunt deer and hogs from the ground with crossbows. Dude, that is awesome. I hope you uh, hope you get one, Glenn. Be careful. Yes, thank you for watching. <laughs> I don't blame you for thank casting you for it coming. into the tree. It's pretty funny. Black and blue. I kind of segmented the body. That's insane. Wow, it's so black. <laughs> I mean, it's... Isn't it? I have some. I made similar to it called the Mardi Gras jigs. I like Mardi Gras better than LSU. 
Tigers. I haven't been to Mardi Gras, but what color were we doing this one at? Oh, okay. So we've got green, white, and pink. Fish were stocked right a few weeks back and couldn't get them to eat corn. Caught them on worms and minnows. Nice. Honestly, yeah, we went after some stocked trout as well. Our Arkansas Game and Fish Commission put some in locally. Uh -oh. We caught a couple on corn, but we caught a majority of ours on, which Sophie caught them on a rooster tail and then a, um, oh, a cast master jig. But then I tied this up and we took it back out there and this Morning one did girl. really well. What is that Lewis talking about a Mardi Gras, too? Yeah, that LSU oh, Tiger one. He said he tied some up. Have some I made similar to it called a Mardi Gras. Worms and minnows. It's a blue cat. That's insane. Hey, try a spinnerbait. Was he in there for that conversation? Oh, it's a um a, a rooster tail. That's what I meant. Rooster yeah. tail. Sorry, they, they named it a spinnerbait on their website. They're called inline spinners, so it's kind of... This is what I caught. First cast I caught on this Black Magic Tackle. And they've got several different colors, but I, I caught went on Gold Rush. It shifted. What does that mean? It's just showing a... Are you trying to just show them the picture no. of the one you caught? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was just like a rooster tail. Anyway, yeah. It was nice, though. It was... But I snapped it off. <laughs> yeah. We had a heartfelt moment. Trevin said that was a blue cat. Blue cat, that's, that's awesome. That's, that's insane. What are you making now? Uh, the green and pink and white bodied one that Trevin was hauling. Oh, okay. I really like the pink feathered tail. It's just, it fluffs out nice and it does a really good job. Uh huh, you like the pink. Mm hmm. It's nice. It yeah. does a good job. to put him to sleep y'all he's his eyes are looking puffy uh white body huh who said that you put more feathers no i was just looking use some of your white chanel on this, this one no. the silver the white Oh, 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 yeah, 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 right here. That's gray. Oh, this is the gray? Yeah, the white is behind the white. <clears throat> yeah. I still got that pink line on, too, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna have to get off here. All right. Just watch your short now. I think I'm gonna have to try to tie some up. Look, fishing local. So. Just watch your short. Yeah, you I'm should. Off YouTube. Two five two. It's a um. It's really fun, man. I enjoy it, and it's, it feels cool to take a lure out that you kind of made and catch fish on. It's really kind of neat. So we've been enjoying it a whole lot.
What? I got a notification on my iPad. From YouTube. He like sent me a link or something. No. You think leave that body just solid white or should I go like segment it like this in pink? I'd like to make a jig, but I ain't got nothing to make one with. Yeah, this uh this little kit it was like a hundred bucks, I think. But we also got like the materials and it was like a DVD that come with it too to to show kind of how to do stuff. It looks good just like that. All right. Ugly dog lures, so that's awesome. Absolutely. I don't own any factory made baits, all custom made. That's awesome, man. Um... So, over a year ago now, I I used to be subscribed to Mystery Tackle Box. Mystery Tackle Box is cool, I guess, especially for, like, younger kids to build. And that's kind of their target demographic is younger kids. But I'm now a part of Dark Horse Tackle. And what Dark Horse Tackle does is they work with companies exactly like you, Goose. It's all American, hand-painted airbrushed dudes sitting in their shop on their live streams making baits and they sell them they box them up and they ship them to your door every month dark horse tackle has been a super awesome like thing for me i've gotten exposed to a lot of awesome little american-made companies that uh i would have never found probably without them shipping them to your door but pretty neat neat company they only do american handmade small batch custom businesses um jolly bait the guy that i work with out of kentucky he was in uh like august's box i believe and there's usually like uh 40 45 dollar worth of stuff and there's 30 bucks a month so it's not bad you get exposure to a lot of a lot of awesome painters Anyway, yeah, that little dude. It's kind of neat. The white is so white. It is fluffy. It looks like a marshmallow. It's crazy. But a little pink tail. Yellow. Kind of yellow and green head. I didn't have any solid green jig heads, so we just went with that one. But I think it looks all right. Very cool. Kelly Outdoors Anderson. Thanks, man. I appreciate you stopping in. Uh, it means a lot that you even took the time out of your day to come say hello to us. So that's awesome, man. We appreciate it, and we hope you can hang out with us some other time. I'm going to make another one out of my giant feather that I'm starting to whittle one side of it down. These things are, it's a big feather. I mean, that's a... Hey, tell Kelly I subscribe to him. Oh, um, Kelly Outdoors, Sophie back there, she just said, let you know she's subscribing to your channel. Everyone that's popping in tonight, she's subscribing on her personal, um, account, which is cool. I'm already, of course, subscribed to everybody that's been in here. Look at that thing. It's as big as my hand. I mean, it's up against my hand. Mine too. They are awesome. Oh, yeah. That thing's huge. It's insane. It makes a really it makes really great tails. I really enjoy it. No problem, man. We appreciate you hanging out with us for just a second anyway. Bye. We got some green tonight. I 
One thing I don't like is not being able to focus up close. Maybe we should... Oh, never mind. Let's find us another hook. Let's make a solid white one. I just said I wanted to, big bird, <laughs> big bird feather. Yeah, no doubt. That's what it looks like, big bird. Big bird feather. We got us a nice yellow and orange jig head. It'll go well with it. Solid white marabou jigs are awesome, definitely. See, I was gonna sell, try to sell some of these eventually, one of these days, maybe. The problem is with plain marabou jigs like that is that you can go to Walmart and buy a 10 pack for $1.50, and there's no way that I can compete with that. You're, I got more than that just in the jig heads and you know whatever materials here and there. So I have no idea even a price. I just enjoy making them and using them. So I may just use them for giveaways for our channel too. That would be a pretty cool idea. Hey. Hey. Our cousin, yeah. Yeah. She, she took a picture. They laid eggs in the crate going from the, the store <laughs> to their house. That's good. Yeah. That's so if we were saying one of our cousins bought some chickens today from they, the feed store and a bunch of people were saying, oh, you should never buy them from there or whatever. Feed they laid stores. an egg in the crate on oh. the way to their house. <laughs> on the way home. So... So it's an all right We're gonna chicken. Get chickens in spring. I'm pretty excited about it. Probably won't put that on YouTube either. I know. Uh, I would like to. We're really just kind of fishing, though. I mean, I don't. It would have be been cool to be natural state outdoors. Natural state outdoors would have been cool because then we could have put a lot more hunting and stuff content. I mean, hunting where? It would have been just you. I know, but. I don't like hunting. I can cook the hunting, though. She can cook some hunting. <laughs> some deer meat. I'm mean, like the deer. You about to hit 700? We're working on it, man. Who? Us. Uh, 700 subs. Jolly Bait Company said that. You about to hit... Oh, okay. Working on it. Has he been here this whole time? He's been in and out here and there. Okay. He's probably busy cranking out people's orders. Hey. What's your hand that problem? About to hit 700. I think we were at 689 or 690. Solid white. Ooh, where'd you get that? Keep coming back and forth with watching football. Dude, I don't blame you. Who? Jolly. Oh. Da <laughs> Dathan, yeah. I don't blame you. Who's your team? I mean, besides Wildcats, I'm sure, Kentucky. Was it Saturday? I don't even know. If pros play or what? Pros play on Sunday, yes. Like Super Bowl people? Yeah. Are we talking about football? What are we talking about? Yeah. I think he said football. Yeah, it should be football season. Yeah, football. Football? I thought it was basketball season, though. No. Basketball season in the summer? It is basketball season, too, actually. Kentucky basketball this morning. Tennessee Titans just lost to man. Hate that. Are you a uh, or Wildcats? Yeah, duh. 
I used to work up in Kentucky. Um, I worked in a town called Gent. I was working at a power plant up there. But driving through Louisville, seeing the giant baseball bat at like Slugger, where the Louisville Slugger bats are made, is pretty cool. Did you hit some headlights with it? The, it's like the size of our house. It's huge. The, oh, the baseball is? The baseball bat. The baseball bat? bat? Oh. Yeah, it's like where the Louisville Sluggers are made. And we, I went through the um, little Corvette Museum there in Bowling Green. Seen where it fell, you know, with the sinkhole. Swallowed up all those Corvettes. This was all without me, by the way. It was insane. Yeah, it was way before, me. before Soph. My life before Soph. B BS before Soph is what I say. Just... Before so, go to college in Bowling Green, dude. Nice, that's cool. I seen him. When, did, when do you graduate? Just wondering. Twenty twenty six. Getting there, man. Three more years. Is he doing a four-year college? Uh, I have no idea. Probably. What are you going to college for? Getting smart? What do you mean? Getting smart? I meant like business. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Did I fish a lot before, Sophie? I've fished my entire life, man. Who said that? Uh, Jolly. Oh. Kentucky basketball. Land surveying. Nice. That's cool. Oh, isn't that what Lucas does? Uh, Lucas is a um, soil conservation technician for the Luke. USDA. Lucas is his bestie. <laughs> My bestie. We hadn't, I hadn't talked to him in two years, but... His bestie, his bestie, his best friend. Sorry. I'm putting a lot on this one just to... That's a big one. That's for bass fishing. Some of the other days said Sophie catches all the fish. That's why Who I Who said that? I say that all the time, man. She does catch all the fish. Someone the other day said Sophie catches all the fish. <laughs> That's why I asked. I taught her everything she knows. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you teach her this good, you learn. No, she's mm. good. I'm going to tell you all something. In the summertime with a wacky rig... You can't hardly keep up with her. It's impressive, the amount of fish that she will actually catch. Thank you, honey. But, I mean, I take her, I fish tournaments with her, everything. It doesn't matter. She catches more fish than guys that I've taken from my job to try to fish tournaments with me, and they won't catch a fish, so might as well just take my wife and have fun with her. I talk a lot, and I eat a lot. But that's okay. Hey, so when she was pregnant with Dylan. Which uh, time? You've only been pregnant with Dylan once. No, which time are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, we went and fished a tournament on Lake Washita. Okay, I was 27 weeks pregnant. Lake which, Washita. Which is a little over half <laughs> for the men that don't. Yeah. It is okay. the biggest lake in the state of Arkansas. It's like 66,000 acres. And I took her out there on a John boat. You should look it up. 14 foot John boat. Look it up. We don't have. I might look up the lake. Oh. See how big it is. Yeah. It's insanely big. Took her out there on a 14 foot John boat yep. the last weekend of May. Mm -hmm. And she was so. She was a trooper. I brought. But she was miserable by brought, noon. <laughs> but I brought a foot long sandwich. <laughs> I ate the whole thing. <laughs> It was a. Uh, it was before fun. lunchtime, I think. Even. <laughs> no. It was fun, but. It was definitely hot. It was very miserably hot. Anytime a boat went by, I grabbed my life jacket and held onto it. Not good I'm at not math. Not gonna drown while pregnant. Who's not good at math? Trevin said, "I'm not good at maths." <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know. Okay. Green? Will green look horrible on there? I don't Do like what? it. Do the the silver one? Oh, you want just the white body? 
Do you like it? I don't like it. What about gray? I got this gold flash. <gasps> gold. Do gold. Oh, do gold. It'll be all gold. That's okay. I always lay it parallel or, yeah, with the uh, in line with the shank. Yeah, that'd be too bad. Glow in the dark purple. What bait y'all think it would be best in? Is this, are you talking crappie lineup or? I don't know how much toys we said. Oh, it's. Um, so I was, I was probably about six months, seven. Yeah, seven months. months is 28 weeks. Seven months, yeah. She was very far along. Yeah. Glow in the dark purple. What we have now, glow in the dark. <laughs> Some glow in the dark. Dude, I'm gonna say the action worm on drop shot. Getting down deep with that glow in the dark might be pretty sweet. Oh, we talking about his baits? Yeah, yeah. Making yeah. glow in the dark baits? Yeah. He is? He said he's got some glow in the dark purple. Yes. The crawl, definitely. I agree with Trevin. The crawl would be. The sweet. crawl, yes. Glow in the dark? Yeah. That'd be cool. Oh, hi. Good. Got some purple to try out. I'll do it on an action worm and crawl and see how it turns out. Nice. All right. You know, I'll try it out. We try. We'll try anything. We fish with candy canes. So rabbit hair jigs are real popular. Mr. Ray in my area. Good action while slowing. Slow fall. Some of the cold water right here for salmon. Awesome. Rabbit fur. I'm about to get a mess of squirrels up for my father-in-law. I'm going to make some out of squirrel tail. But uh, I've always heard rabbit fur. Actually, this, this kit could come with a materials kit. And it had like some rabbit dubbing that you can twist in. Um... Where it works really nice and looks really good, but it takes kind of a lot of it to do these bigger hair jigs. So I'm saving that dubbing for the actual my fly fishing flies. Actual fur on the skin still, big pieces, nice, okay. Goose, I don't know if you're still here, if you did uh, the um, Secret Santa thing or not. But JJ's live will be tomorrow night, I believe, announcing all that. Which we're not going to be able to make it. We're, uh, we have church. But I've let JJ and Ted both know. We're not going to make it, but... It's a shame, too, because the uh, guy that got us really did a lot more than he should have and i would like to be able to thank him publicly like that but we're gonna put it on the on our community tab of course after jj's live i don't want to announce anything before he's ready but
stay on there probably be all right. Dude, I hope, <laughs> Jolly. That's kind of the goal. I'm, I'm realizing that watch time is so much harder to get. It's insane. In fact, I'll tell you where we're at. So we're at 690 subscribers, I believe. Our watch time is 637. We need like 3,400 hours. It's insane. So we're just going to have to start hanging out like this. And if we intend on getting monetized, we're going to have to do this and get there. Because once you get there, you can take a break and you can chill and you don't have to do it again. But, man, once you, uh, it's just getting there. See what I'm talking about? That yellow tail is just awesome, man. It's just nice and stays bushed out good even after it gets wet it'll it's nice I like it I think it'll catch some fish I still I'm, I'm still gonna try to find something brown to try to find uh match your crawfish a little better because that's it's just too gold that's all right still not bad hey, you remember that video? what's that um that your friend that guy luke you like luke that i like luke luke Rapp? yes yes Yeah. Some guy out here said scam. But, and Luke said, you, sir, are a scam. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, so it's funny. funny. <laughs> That's cool. People are so silly, man. Yeah. The amount of... That's the only negative comment on it. That was funny. He was like, scam. And he's like, you, sir, are a scam. <laughs> oh, let me show you, Nathan, while you're here, man. Um, I was telling oh, you... the box that I got you? Yeah. Well, I would... <laughs> Sophie wants to show you the box. <laughs> The box here, but I don't think you were in here earlier to see this. This is an actual fly that I tied. This has a little metal bead on the head, so this will sink. And you can use this on your actual fly rod. It's really bulky. It's, I don't know, bigger around than a quarter. And it's pretty good size. But now it is a fly, it's small still. But that right there will get eight in a creek. I g would give you this fly tying kit if it doesn't. It's going to be, it would get eight, I think. So, be a good thing. Small mouth would smash. I think so, too. 56 watch hours. Trevin, that's a good start. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a solid white. All white. White feathers, white tail, white head, white thread. Solid white? Yeah. I'm going to lay him down and see if he looks good for iPhone. Because he is way faster than that one. Yeah. I mean, he's doing great. But... Yeah, he is. By way, I mean me, actually. Yeah, Sophie's a Sunday school teacher at our church. She has been for seven been years. A, I've been a Sunday school teacher since I was 18. We always, not always, I won't say always. Sometimes if we get there in time, we'll grab like some donuts or something for the her kids, but We're that's actually kind of rare, yeah. But it's neat. She'll always. Do they know? You got how many? How many kids you sometimes have? I definitely always have one. 
but, always have that. Um, yeah. I could have up, up to nine children. One's always there. I don't know. You, Usually have, three or four. Have, have I mean, we can tell me your Sunday school at church. I don't want to get too deep into the religion because it's a lot harder to explain to. It's just easier not to sometimes. Well, we're Pentecostal, you know. Pentecostal. Yeah. Trevin says he goes to the crossing. Cool. My mom's the same way. She had either three or four or none. Yeah, definitely. Who said that? Dathan. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah. Using this mirror. As a mirror? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. I could braid my hair before it would have been. Well, you're doing a great job, hon. I appreciate it. We're gonna make an old white one. Okay. That's a big one. Yeah. What is that? Look white wise? Yeah. Quarter ounce? It's probably 16? three sixteenths or mm -hmm. it's a big eighth. I don't oh, know. I'll use this one though. That feather, so, I don't want that little bit of color at so the end. Pretty. Okay. I've got some solid white. Yeah, no. I'll find them. They're right here. They're big white, yeah. Catch you all on the next one. California beach fishing. I appreciate you hanging out. I really appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us. And we will uh catch you on our next one for sure. Put a beetle spinner on any of these jigs. Absolutely. For sure. Okay. Oh. Oh. He might get upset. It's about it's about his bedtime. He just said no, he's playing with toys. Oh, I did it again. Got the uh, cart in front of the horses. Subs been hard for me. Just had much as watch, just as much as watch time. Promote business for sure, yeah. Used to be a troublemaker at that age at two o'clock. Oh, when this live is done, suggest you change your title so people will watch. The replay as time goes on, you're showing in. How and why, that is good. That's definitely, I didn't actually intend to even be on here that long, but yeah, that's an awesome tip and I'll definitely do that. What? Um, he just said like, he suggests like once we get off here and this is done and then it's published, you know, public again, okay. go change the title to like, you know, how, how to tie hair jigs or, so that people will actually watch instead of just like testing our internet. For oh, three hours. Can or, you change, can you change it after you yeah, yeah. It? Yeah. Take advantage of good content. Man, I appreciate that a lot. Who's in that? Uh, Ray. Mr. Ray. Oh, this one went really well. I appreciate all you guys hanging out with us. It's, uh, I've put off and put off and put off going live from home just for the fact of I didn't think that we would be able to. What are you doing, buddy? He waving. You waving? Oh. Uh, uh. Say bye-bye. What's oh, your night hand? Night. Uh oh. <laughs> Did you fall asleep? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy boy. Yeah, he's a couple hours past his bedtime. 
Yeah. You ought to be getting grumpy. Also, before the next uh, go round, I'll turn my phone sideways yes. <laughs> so that I'm not in shorts form this entire time. I apologize about that. And it won't let me turn it now. Goose, I really appreciate you stopping in. That's awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll do it again sometime. I work... Um, throughout the week of course like everyone else in the world but i work 6 to 4 30 so there ain't a whole lot of staying up late throughout the week boy we might squeeze one in on a saturday night or something or friday night. yeah friday night i've got a company sent us a flashlight i gotta review it we were gonna do that tonight and then i just kind of didn't want to mess with it, so we'll do it some other night. Come here. Come here. We all learn every time by doing it. Definitely. Yes, sir. See, I, uh, now I got to figure out how to test these over there in the old fish tank, show you guys what they look like underwater. Uh, what? Oh, Sophie heard it. <laughs> but if we really believe catch and release doesn't hurt the fish, so I mean, right? Yeah, but they're pet fish. It wouldn't hurt. Okay. I think it's absolutely different. <laughs> it was worth a shot anyway. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sophie wasn't for it either, so. I know. What's he talking about? He's talking about me wanting to test these in the tank, I think. Uh, oh, so a couple of our goldfish are pretty big. Uh, yeah, a few of them might actually be able to eat them. Matt, did you see the short I put out today on the ventilation bait that was fun to paint? Ah, uh, the, the one with the blue dots on the bottom. Yeah, Sophie's gonna go check it out right now. You like this all white? I think it's pretty interesting. It's kind of neat. It's really fluffy. I mean, maybe the what blue dot it? on the bottom. Again? Just the short that he put out today. Old Italian. What's Vitalian mean? Vitalian. I'll check it out, Goose. Sophie's back there watching it right now. I can hear it back there. I can hear you back there talking. Oh, wow. That's great. But I'll, uh, I'll definitely go check it out. I want to say I've seen it. For some reason, shorts will be like... Four days later, I'll get a notification that y'all put a short out. Now, the videos are always right there. You know, That's really pretty. 
Yeah, Goose is super talented. It's crazy how good they look. All right, there's an all white one there. I put that one extra long. I don't know about that. I think that one will catch something though. Especially in these lakes. Little, It's a little bigger. It's, I don't know, two inches long, something like that. Does he make these Keep that tail. He paints them. He buys the blanks and paints them. Oh. Keep that tail. All right, sweet. Yeah, it's a little extra length on there, but I think it'll actually also be a lot more action, too. That one's all white. like it. Pretty neat. It's crazy, the, some of the size differences... Of that body, it completely hides. Get it lined up there. That white one's a lot bigger jig head, too. That's the same size jig head here. I got feathers everywhere. This is Sophie from... <laughs> you silly. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. Let's see. I dropped one. Yep. Bank fishing. I don't know. Did you see this feather here? I think we decided it's off a of big bird. It's as big as my hand is. I mean, it's a huge feather. That thing, that's what I put on here as the tail on this one. That feather here. Ostrich. Ostrich feather. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just buy, actually these, let's see. Uh, it just says gold, do it yourself, pack a 10. It was one of the Amazon things. My father in law sent all this to my door. Come in. Pretty neat, though. I like them. Got those and a little bag of red ones. I got a bunch of just random neon colored stuff. Anyway, I think we're, uh, what color? I don't know what color we ain't done tonight. I'm doing all gray. Match this gray jig head. That's a little tiny 30 second jig head here. Well. Like that. I've got flashy gray, silver. <coughs> Bless you, honey. Hey. Or we've got gray chenille. We'll put on there. I think we're going to go with the flash. I may try to make some kind of leg or something. Olive green with brown black hackle works real good. Dr. Pepper is good. Always good. Ostrich feathers. Olive green with brown black hackle. I've got some like grizzly feathers. You can hackle some. Um, then I've got the ostrich. 
I don't know where it's at, but. Oh, yeah. Peacock quill. Hurl. Got some hurl. I'm trying to save all this kind of stuff a little more for my flies. I've got now. We've oh, got like some. I'm sorry. Do what? I didn't know you were going to that one. We have like some size 12. I don't know if I can get it to where y'all can see it, but them there are small, pretty small little guys. Peacock hurl is real good for body head section on flies. Yeah, absolutely. And I've got a couple. Um, so the very first one that I made, I didn't realize that the hurl also didn't know that you're supposed to put the tail on. And it looks horrendous. I know it's bad, but yeah. It was the very first, very first attempt at the very first anything I made. I'm going to keep it in here for what not to do. I thought I had some that I actually... There's a couple I've made. This little dude right here is tiny. A little nymph or something. I've really started liking putting these metal beads on the head. And that's rabbit dubbing and elk. Elk hair. It is fun. And this is my my store bought side, professional side. Sophie got me these. She got me this whole case, and then these supposed to look like real flies, like actual annoy you at the picnic flies. And then the rest of them are just store bought. You know, whatever. A couple of woolly booger type things down here, I guess. Fish don't care. Bring back a lot of memories. Wish I could still see well enough. Pain using magnifying lens while trying, so I gave it up. My eye's bad. I understand that. Definitely um, catch bluegill. Practice makes perfect, absolutely. So what we're trying to do is get some practice in anyway. Ever heard of the pattern hare's ear? I don't think so, I don't know. Not that I've heard of. I got a bunch of dubbing and silver the ribbon for like wrapping, making a body. Uses peacock curl. Nice. Um, Ray, do you know? Uh, do you did you ever have the UV like quick cure stuff? Did you mess with any of that? That come with a thing of head cement, but of course it's not the UV. But silver and copper. I ain't got no silver. Only regular head cement. Okay, that come with a bottle, the regular head cement. I just, I didn't know if you'd use the, um, oh, the black light UV resin. Of course, with the time lapses, who knows how long it takes, but it looks like it's almost instant. Those guys put it on there and hit it with that light, and then it's like ready to roll, but pretty neat stuff anyway. Let's see, we we're gonna go all silver here. I'm gonna try to make some kind of feed off of that with that hurl.
way behind the times now. Oh, I bet that um, everything that you know would work probably better than the stuff that now tying over 40 years ago. Yes, sir. Is Dylan still I don't know. Never tied a flyer jig, but you know the best patterns. Smallest hook in my kit. We got a pack of number eight, uh, size number 14, and that package of number 12. Eight, 12, and 14. So 14 would be the smallest. These little dudes. It's a Gunnison, Gunnison River. Man, you can't hardly make that out, I guess. Anyway, it's a number 14. Smaller than 12. A lot of 14 to small is 22 for trout. That is insane. You'd be amazed how small a fly a big trout will go for. I don't even know how they see them, honestly. Like, I took my fly rod, and I don't have anything super crazy nice. It's just a... Uh, it's like a dog, White River Dogwood, Dogwood Canyon. It's like a, one from Bass Pro. But, I mean, it's a good, good enough, I guess, for us to start out and whip them around. Sophie has that Reddington Crosswater, which is a pretty nice little combo for starting off. But we, uh, so we took them to the pond, to that college pond that we keep talking about that they had stocked. But it was so muddy but there was trout jumping, chasing stuff. I mean, they were acting like they didn't care, so. I don't know, it's pretty, pretty neat. Even farm-raised, you know, cat or trout still have that instinct. even harder for me to see what I'm doing. That's crazy. I haven't, I honestly don't even know that I've seen a hook that small. I'm still very new to it, of course, and getting in, trying to get into it a little more, but now that I've started messing around with these jigs, I don't know if I'll go back to flies <laughs> a whole lot, honestly, because I'm really enjoying this. And you can take these to the creek with the ultralights and I guess you can take the trout, take the fly rods to the creek too, but.
doing? Flatten that body out a little bit. It was a little too big. Kind of look goofy. Yeah, that shrank it down quite a bit. I like that. I do believe, unless anyone wants to see another special color, that I'm gonna call this it for the night. It is 11.15, 11.14 our time. Are you it? Yeah, here in a minute. If I can get this cooperate and get this finished off. Goodness. There. Like that. This one's kind of a unique little guy. I think he'll still catch fish. I just put a little little legs on there, like a little person. Look at that. Little little legs. Kind of neat. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to do it for us tonight. Let me try to... Let me put this down and... I'm about to do a little recap. Show, show off all the jigs we made tonight. Let's uh let's see what all we got here. Let me get them spread out here. Get it cleared off. Start right there. Um Laying out all the jigs that we made tonight. Oh, okay. Just as a little, little sayonara. Actually, these two we didn't make tonight. We I made those prior. There's that LSU one. There's Sophie's pink one she wanted. There. Mr. Alvin and his corn. That's Goose's black and blue one. And I believe that that is... Oh, one more. There's the wire-bodied one there. Bunch of them laid out there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fifteen of them tonight. Oh, and the last one there, the little one with my little legs on there. I just forgot about you. Threw you over there in the scrap pile. Little dude. Anyway, 16 jigs tonight. We got a bunch of different colors on there, too. That's neat. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping and hanging out with me tonight. Sophie is back there somewhere. I don't know. Anyway. I'm right behind you. Yeah, she's back there. Dylan's asleep, so. Anyway, I'm going to get all this stuff put up, cleaned up, 
get all my feathers picked up. We're going to get out of here. But until next time, hope you all have a good night. <laughs> good night, Goose. Good night, Ray and Trevin and everybody else. Anyone else in here, Mr. Ray? Bank Fishing Adventures, everybody. Thank you, guys. We'll catch you all on the next one.